<coughs> Pardon me. Pardon me. Right. We're live. Oh Didn't realise we were on. We're live. It's Friday night live. Captain Meets His Ventures. First in, first comment. Boom. Stone the Crows to you. We're on. Well, I'm on. I, I, I've just popped a quick review out of this. It'll be out now, maybe tomorrow morning. Uh, Thomas Knight, Evening Simon, how we doing? All right, boys and girls, how we doing? Brilliant, cheers, guys. What are we drinking, guys? I'm drinking the Affler Gem Blonde. We've had rain all week. It's sunny and the pubs are open. So we're going to wait and see on this one. Anthony, lo lovely to see you. Derek, Tom Green, how are we all doing? How are we all doing? Bit sunny, yeah, yeah, it is. Uh, about time it's we have seen the sun for about we three seen, weeks. We haven't seen the sun for a while. We haven't, but it, it'll birthday. it'll sort itself out, I'm sure. J one two, you have sun in Wales. Lee. Yeah, he's checking it down in Leeds. Oh my word. Yeah, uh, we ducks. I was doing Taylor. It's beer o'clock, Mark. Cheers from Chicago. Yeah, it's been quite nice. It's been it's been quite quite nice. Um, the whole the whole day really. We've had a bit of cloud, but it's burnt through. It is lovely. So, um, how good is that tank sample to Tom Green? Very good. Really enjoyed it. Did you see the video? Um, 55 people in after 1 minute 30. Do you know what? This is all right. This is all right. This is doing pretty well. Uh, there they are. Yep, saw it. Cool. Sun's right in my face. 70 people tuned in. Can we get 50 likes? Let's go big, guys. We need it big tonight because we need to real make people realise they've all gone to the pub and they need to tune into our live feed instead. So all of you lovely people who have made the effort to tune in, I'm really pleased for that. Should we go big? Can you hit that like button down below? Can we get 50 likes in? That would be fantastic to start the night off. Evening, Simon and Mel. Andrew Campbell, how are we doing? 80 people tuned in, 25 likes. Come on, guys, let's do 50 likes. Smash that like button down below. Let's keep let's get people in through the door. Have you seen my orchids, Simon? Of the Stone Crow gonna... Virtual Pub. Yeah, I've seen it, yeah. Yeah. They cling on to things for life, them things do. Orchids, no. Yeah, they do. They cling on to rocks and stuff. So pubs are opening in Wales on the 3rd of August. Yeah, yeah. inside, yes. Read that today. 3rd of August in Wales. It's always two or three weeks behind. Um, yeah, that's just how it is. Just how it is, I suppose. About four weeks in the end, I think. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But pubs are opening, those who can. Beer Garden is going to be opening on Monday. From Ryan Monday. McFarlane, yeah. Where's Dangerous? I'm worried about him now. I don't know. Don't know. Hey, do you know what? No fear. Let's hope he's okay. No fear, we got 100 people. 100 people after three minutes. This is good. Bobby Moog, David Brent, balls up. Hi, Simon and Matt, it's Friday again. This is the best part of the day, but unfortunately, I'm already on my last. Can Kai, wow! Woohoo! Alan Mead with the first super chat of the night. Fantastic. Happy Friday, Simon and Matt, get the beers out. So, Cheers. Um, boxing is back on BT Sports. That sounds really good. So, um, Mel, um, how's your week been? heavy one this week or busy one I should say yeah yeah I'm so glad it's Friday Mel's glad it's Friday yes yeah. thank it's Friday yeah absolutely absolutely um still battling on with this with this um bedroom we're on the we're on the painting stage oh my now. god painting my head in. build a bed you know, like, done I go gone to on work. and on and on in work it's constant you know issues to the sort the mill in the mill in. Oh, I'm is going it going? To an absolute tip in my house for the last, I don't know, three months. It's been a nightmare. I've got no headspace, guys. Nowhere to like just chill out and relax apart we, from my PlayStation 4. David Brent, £4 super chat. I've got some ales from MS for tonight. Um, the mill ads, the mill ads. I've tapped, I sent, I sent Adrian the picture of the oh, keg. Hey. The Aflagem Blonde keg is in the blade, and we've got the Aflagem Blonde in a glass, 6.7% ABV of goodness. Um, Sean is showing off, by the way. He's just had that tiny level new beer. Oh, I'm going to go for that, I think, eventually. We will go for that. Daniel Jones, hello, Mel. How are we doing? What's the aflogen like on the blade? Um, 
I was perfectly I honest. I haven't tried any actually yet. I was perfectly honest in the review. Um, I said it's pouring out a little bit cold. If I'm honest, it's a blonde, should be cut. I think it's a little bit too cold. A little bit, not too much. I mean, Hello, what, you, what you could mm, do. It's nice, it's hoppy. Real hoppy. Isn't it nice? Enough. Yeah, really nice beer. Pour it, leave it. Hello, Janine. Janine. How are we doing, Janine? Pour it, maybe leave it for 10 minutes just to warm up a little bit. See, that's what I said on my... Um... Lagunitas on the Krebs one. Let it warm up a little, little bit. Just a little bit too cold. Just a little bit. You want to get those flavours out. Can you adjust the temperature? No. It's a set temperature, no. like freezing cold. It's it's yeah. a Heine it's a Heineken like three machine. Degrees. Yeah, it's a it's a Heineken made machine. I mean, they're gonna want their machines to be freezing cold. But people have demanded um what do we have for our tea? We have pizza. Quick pizza on a Friday with these live feeds. No messing about. It might foam like in this in this weather. It's, um, go for a run before and you will be appreciate the coldness. Mm -hmm. Blade more different brands of beer. Now yeah, there's more. There's definitely more beer. When I bought the blade, there was only two beers available. There was the Moretti, and of course Heineken. Um, my brother-in-law who's watching. Um, he got absolutely bladdered on the Heineken about was it two weeks ago? Oh, two weeks ago, it was so fun. You can't say it was that. such a fun. It was such a fun night. It was such a when fun are we night. Gonna use these. Um, you can put some beer in there now if you want. Spiders it. webs in there now. Oh, Left okay. them there too long. They're, they're all they're ornaments. Things. Graham, what a one five pound super chat. I'm Here we go. Use one. Cool. Um, did the kids finish that massive sausage roll? I tell you what, we did. We cut it all up equally. We cooked some chips and we all had beans and chips and it was a lovely, lovely sausage roll. Um, that was when I was at work though. I didn't even get any. Beans and chips, yeah. Janine, Mel, um, I'm on the gin tonight. Nice one, Janine. What gin have you got? I think Mel will be on the gin later as well. Have you got me any lemonade? Oh, no, there's that soda. You bought soda water. Yeah, but that's for my reviews, which I haven't done yet. Alan Mead has pointed everybody out to the membership. Fantastic. There's the membership there if anybody wants to join the membership. Um, Guess who's booked their haircut for next week? i got a haircut booked for Monday and um, my last. I've got my next, not sure what day yet. Yours is tomorrow, isn't it? No, not tomorrow. They open back up on Monday. <coughs> All right, yeah, 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 of course. I bought um, the Tiny Rebel candied bacon. Oh, it's gone. And waffle porter was amazing. Sounds good. A candied yeah. bacon waffle porter. Sounds interesting. Interesting. Whisper right. Gold, should I have a beer or a red? Well, I've gone for the beer tonight. Whisper Gold Girl. Such a cool name. Love that name. I love Whisper Gold. You've got Girls. a magic potion for molar infection. Oh, oh no, Reese. Oh, no. It, in, drink, it, it, drink, just drink, 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 and drink. Extraction. Drink I think it. that's all they're offering at the moment as well, isn't it? The dentists. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Ouch. Oh, 105 Wongi got a red bull ad washed every second for that ad sense. Stone the Crows. Thank you very much for watching the adverts. Um, I'm not allowed to say that, by the way. Um, it's against regulations. Uh, the Hidden um, Boys, see you from Cardiff. Coyotes. Bands, bikes and boo reviews. Any love for Baileys and Cherry Aid? Never tried it. Sounds good. Ooh. Um, Ooh. But yeah, I'm just... Ooh. I might try that. So, yeah... <coughs> <coughs> what I want to say, going back to the blade, it is different quality beer. My my, my brother-in-law, if he's still watching, he'll vouch for that. It's a different quality beer. It is proper, straight from the brewery, quality, high quality beer. Even the Heineken. Absolutely fantastic. So the story I want to tell of my brother-in-law two weeks ago was hysterical. We had a we had the game on, had a bit of football going on. I think it was Man United Norwich on the um, Coca Cola Cup or one of the League Cups or something, FA Cup maybe, FA Cup. And um, drink, 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 drink loads, drink loads of this Heineken. And and then he started on the red wine, so he's trying drinking the red wine on one of these bar stools. And then um, I'm going to get to that super chat in a in a, a moment, Anders. Thank you very much for the super chat. But we had a big Chinese, um, drank more wine. And the taxi was called, and he kind of like, like, went off on his stool, off the one of the stools, you know, and 
like when in a straight line, kind of like dobbling back and forth to the taxi. Absolutely hysterical. And that was to do with the Heineken. So the beer quality from these machines is top quality. It is top, top quality. And this after gem blonde is fantastic. Really is fantastic. So I've covered the blade after jump tonight. I'm gonna get this super chat. Anders, any beer festival planned ahead? McAllister Beer Festival in October and Hagel is rescheduled for October. Would be nice to see you there. Um I really like Copenhagen. I was in Copenhagen last year. Um, it was amazing. Would you like to go What's to Copenhagen? What's the date? So I've booked a day off because I was supposed to be going to see Alanis Morissette on the 4th of October. So thanks for the super They rescheduled that for a whole year later. Would you Would you go to um, Copenhagen? Uh, yeah. Why not? Why wouldn't I? Oh, I went. The sure weather. the kids can look after themselves for a weekend. <laughs> oh, that would not be cool. <laughs> We got all that. We got all that to come. Put we really some pop tarts out. Use a toaster. We got all that to come. We're building the channel nicely. We're gonna go everywhere. Gonna go everywhere. Mal's gonna be my filming assistant. This is how the channel's gonna pan out. Mal's gonna be my filming assistant. We're just gonna travel around filming in all over the Europe and all over America. And that, that's the plan. That's the plan. We'll see the kids at Christmas. <laughs> Uh, you can have big boss approval, Simon. You can go now. That, well, yeah, Mel, Mel said yes, so there we go. Um, we got 200 people in. Can we go 100 likes? Can we go for 100 likes? We've got 201 people in. That would be absolutely fantastic. Hit the like button. We need 31 to go to get it up to 100 likes. The, the reason... The reason we are pushing the likes tonight is, well, we push them hard anyway, but um, we realise that the pubs are open and we're just trying to, we're just trying to push, really. We're just trying to push this this virtual pub. Um, Don't forget to send me some pictures of what you're drinking tonight over to on my Twitter. It's at Mrs. Real Ale Guide. Yeah, look at that. Oh, it's really hard to do that. Logs onto my sixth account to like <laughs> Kai. Amazing. 94, we're nearly there. 97, we're nearly there. We're nearly 100 likes. Let's do it. 98, this is amazing. This is the only pub for me. Branch leader, that is amazing. Thank you very much. Um, hey, sorry, can't say I'm sat in a pub on a Friday night. Jamie, absolutely no problem. You know, the pubs are open, but we still got viewers. This is great. We still got viewers. Stevie's in saying good evening. Uh, there were some very random accounts on here towards the end of last week. Seeing some very random stuff. David Brent, the, the, suppose, it's out of our control. That's it's, the thing with the internet, I it, suppose. David, there are, they do, it does happen. It's out of our control. We're on a mobile phone. Um, there's little to nothing we can do. All we can see is the comments going up. Um, I Nicolette try my best. sent me a picture. That's what she's drinking tonight. Nice cool. one, Nicolette. Looks good. That's try to... Um, Oh gosh, pardon me. I, I try my best to ignore it all. Um, people have a drink, people get drunk, people say stuff. You know, it's uh, it's all a bit, you know, what's on the beer, beer menu t tonight? We are drinking, I'm drink. well, I'm drinking after gem blonde. Where's my one? And Mel's drinking a little Pearl and Backer Patronus Vice Beer. It's the internet, yeah, exactly. It's like someone straight out of Harry Potter, I love the name. Would rather sit in and watch you two instead of going out, it's cheaper. Janine, <laughs> this is amazing, thank you very much. Uh, did you manage to finish off that massive sausage roll? We had it for our tea, we cut it all up, we had it with cheese, um, chips and beans for our tea. It was lovely, absolutely fantastic. No, I last week I got absolutely, ooh, I had two pints of pump, four dragon stouts, wow! Ten pints of carling and four, four Jager bombs. No, that is like insane. That is amazing. Wow. I reached half a million subs yesterday. You guys can do it. Oh my goodness me. Bryek09. Well, that would be amazing, wouldn't it? Brytek09. Brytek09. Or Brittek. Brittek09. Brittek, maybe. Yeah. Um, amazing, well done to you, half a million subscribers, amazing, well that, that would yeah, be a well. dream wouldn't it, that would be an absolute dream. 
Keith Grindley, uh, I really haven't tasted a beer as good as Tenants. Well, there we go, that's your opinion. Everybody got their own opinions. Gordon Ramsay asked me to say, Big boys, have you given up love real ill craft? <laughs> uh, there we are. Um, well, the pubs had only just opened, mate. I had to celebrate, didn't I? Well done. Uh, tenants for the win. Branch leader. Having a half at the virtual pub. If Britek is still watching, I have a question. Can I set up stream on the Raspberry Pi 3? Wow, you have the half a million. Whoa! If you're still watching, can you answer me that? Because at Annabelle's birthday and she wanted a desktop computer to wow. join her friend who was on Steam and all the games and whatever. Um, but it's a little bit out of our budget right now, so she's not got that. But we do have a Raspberry Pi and I was wondering... Yeah, can we do anything with a Raspberry Pi to get um, Fortnite? So join? Yeah. Fortnite or, or something on there? No I mean, we we got no idea. We're, you know, it's a little beer channel. But, I can see um, you've done some videos on Raspberry Pi, so... I, I feel like we're in luxury here with... Um, we're, we're in royalty with them. Um, half a million subscribe, subscribers. That is amazing. Thank you very much for tuning in. Um, really appreciate that. About to have a lost cosmonaut. And yeah, Raspberry it's not Pi. the best, but fancied it for some reason. I don't know what's that. The Raspberry best, Pi runs. Le ah, Linux. here we are. Yeah, Linux with Steam. Steam runs on Linux. It should be fine. Okay. Okay. See how I can get on with that then. So, is it a way of like putting loads of memory or gig or is it RAM? Well, what, the, what's the it's important got one? The SD. Uh, it's RAM. It's a graphics card, isn't it? That's important. Oh, yeah. Ah, there we are. Yes, you can stream on a Raspberry. Pi. Ah, oh, there we are. Briteco9, thank you thank very you much for, for the advice. That is really have, cool. Have you got a video on how I need to set it up? Because, like, that's the, <laughs> the next Yeah, well, 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 you can Google that and find it on his channel. Got a Mexican lager and a thank stout you. kit. I'm on the left here in the punk tonight, lads. What are we sipping? I tell you what, that's the next question. Where are you from? What are you drinking? Comment. Where are you from? What are you drinking? Richie Rich, Mel in house, Ben's in house. Hi Mel. Hello. Hello. Lambic Stout, Beer and Moretti in Leeds. Um, gaming on the Raspberry Pi is not possible. Only retro games. Ah, I see, oh, I see. Okay. Carl Lyle drinking a Stagnant Good Porter. Bansley drinking German Hells. Streaming from Stadia doesn't require any hardware. I, I, that's what I am. Um, so. Um, it is something that we would look at that one as well. Britek, Britek 09, very quickly before I read out all these. Um, well, he's wh where are you? Stella with rum and ginger ale, wow. That sounds really that sounds good. good. I, um, I am a Stadia, I'm a Stadia user, so I'm an all up Stadia, Stadia user. So I'm really, really pleased with that. Um, so you're letting us all know. Um, Jack Daniels, Jaipur and Wigan, Northern, Northern Ireland, Neath, Newport. Newton, Newton Le Wills drinking Newton shipyard. Newton Le Willows, that sounds lovely. Carlisle drinking a bird. Bernie drinking salt I cat. Edinburgh drinking a pearl and back a rattler. The lovely beer, especially and in the Stevie sun. And Stevie sent a picture, everyone. Cheers. He's drinking the Glen Affric Brewery Payload Pale. Oh, um, lovely. Nice Essex drinking Stevie. a Tiny Rebel Pineapple Express. On the Lost Lager, Tiny Rebel Caddy Pale. Brum drinking beer of Moretti. Is the Heineken better on the blade or the sub? Um, it's very similar. Very, very, very similar beer on both systems. Uh, West London drinking Cool's Cans and quicker Hells. on the blade, though. Everything cools quicker on the blade because it's got a massive cooling system on it. It's really cool. Really cool system. I'm getting a... I am getting a Guinness blade. Ooh, is, that, is that such a thing as a Guinness one? That's really cool. You only got to eat a raspberry pie. Uh, Sunderland drinking ginger grizzly from Lidl. Ah, I know the ginger grizzly is a good beer. Warsteiner in Glasgow. Full fridge bomber bottles. Oh, I love the Warsteiner. Drinking Guinness, West Indies Porter, Anthony. Uh, the very rare. Ah, right, the Guinness blade is very rare. Oh. Omnipolo, Fata Morgana. I've got loads of tweets, by the way. Yeah, Daryl W saying, where from? David Brent, where, where have you got your 
Blade Guinness machine. Yeah, FS Draft in Manchester. Uh, Jono's joined us. He's drinking <coughs> uh, Post Impacts. Oh, I can't read that. Porter. Porter. Yeah. 10%. Oh. 10%. Nice. Um, Tom Green. Hi, Mel. Simon. How's your week been? Nice to see sun shining on you in Wales. It's, it is nice, to be fair. It's the first time in weeks. Um, saw a series of Tiny Rebel Imperial Stout. Have you seen and going to review them? Lovely. I'd like to. Uh, I'm enjoying the Basque Land Brew Zumo Hazy IPA Juicy Hazy Beer. Oh, that looks really good. You take charge. I'm going to get a beer. That looks really nice. Carry yeah, on with go the, the tweets. Your teats. <laughs> uh, James Lord joining me. Um, I'll be drinking some Real Ale Brewery later on. Let me read that again. I'll be drinking some Real Ale Brewing later on. You look nice. Oh, that's loud. Uh, from Anthony, a hearty hello and cheers. Oh, that looks lush. A heffen I can't say it, sorry. Um, show the poor, oh, you have to show the poor later, definitely. He's missed this one. Briteco 9, I was looking at the perfect draft system. Video's coming out tomorrow, guys, or the next Did day. you get the noise, Ryan? Could you hear it? That's the blade. Uh, from Graham, he's drinking the Pineapple Express IPA. <sighs> from Tiny Rebel, nice, nice one, nice one. Um, Cedric, Woo Matilda by Goose Island with Breton. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Breton that looks lovely. Yeah, that's Breton the one. Bretomyces. Always red. Evening, man and si. I'm on the ABK again. Have a great weekend. Oh, that looks really nice and refreshing. Lovely, lovely, lovely. God, there's loads tonight, guys. Uh, from L. Hi, Mel. Dea, invoice me for the microchip. Microphone. Oh, microphone. You just read what you see, don't you? Fabulous beer. That looks quite nice. Look how rich that looks. Really nice. Um, and finally, from Billy, Glen Affric order arrived in time for Friday night at the Stoned Crow Paradise Reef up first. Quite sweet for me. Paradise Reef. Well, you got a nice selection there. Nice selection indeed. And the tonics for tomorrow night. Oh, I think I got another one come through. Literally. Oh no, I haven't. Uh, Matthew, how, Mel, how do you juggle, juggle three YouTube channels, live streams, work and kids? Okay, um, this is Simon's YouTube channel, so luckily I don't have to do any of the uploading and all that stuff. But I would just like to say with great difficulty, to be quite honest. Good as gold, Mel. She's got loads of energy. Mel is a grafter from David Brent. Oh, cheers. Yeah, we graft. I think you've got a graft ad in life, haven't you? You want to see the state of the house? I've been I grafting. That says it all, really. I've been grafting on this channel for over 10 years now. And um, it's coming along nicely. It really is. But I, I, it's just putting the ad work in. It really is putting the ad work in. Look at my hair. Haircut Monday. I'm having my haircut Monday. It's coming, the big chop's coming. I've done the, we're, we're allowed to have a haircut you from go, Monday. Go, you're not going to go for a simple number one though, because like, I could have done that. No, I'm going to have numbers. a normal kind of 0 0.5 on the sides and a number six on the top. But the big haircut's coming on Monday. Um, it's like a thatch roof, Simon. <laughs> <laughs> it is, it is. Uh, Get a skin feed, Simon. Oh, God. Um, Brian has sent this one over. I just wanted to show it because the glass on this is, a, like, I've never seen a glass like it. So, Whiplash, plausible di deniability, double IPA. <sighs> Sounds like a Tory government. Um, look at that glass. Don't, I've anything. never seen anything like that. It's a lovely glass. It's really cool. Jen is Jenkins is in the house. Uh, in Norwich, drinking vocation, pride and joy. Ready. Um, can we go... 160, 160 likes, hit the like button. We're doing rather well. We're doing rather well. We're going to go near 300 Connor people tuned in. Connor's sending a picture in. on Twitter. Um, my rig, all fully complete, including monitor. Proud of this bad boy. Always wanted a high-end gaming setup, and now I do. Yeah, that looks pretty damn cool, to be fair. If you can see it. Sorry, guys. The 
I'm not going to complain, though. How am I supposed to find a bitter in your bar? Um, for us, it's free. <laughs> um, whatever we buy, I mean, we buy. I bought a lot of Pearl and Backer Vice beer for Mel. I'm on the the stronger stuff. Um, yeah, can we get anywhere near? Finally, get rid of that stormtrooper helmet, Simon. Yeah. <laughs> How many beers do you have in a session? How many sessions a week? I've just got a perfect draft. I'm finding it hard to keep off the machine. Mr. Danny Mack, enjoy life, my friend. Enjoy life. On for a biggie tonight, mate. Block Cardiff. Yeah, why not? Um, I know you hated the Red Desperados. Do you like the original one? Not really. Not really. I, it's, a, it's such a weird beer, Desperados. It's just a strange... What's that? Beer. King, it's got lime and stuff in it. Nice one. I don't think I've tried it. Oh, look at this. We're nearly. Uh, I asked for 160 likes. We're nearly there. 157. 288 viewings as well. That's pretty good. Yeah. Hit the like very button good. down below. Let's get over 160 likes. Let's do it. Let's push it. Thank you very much. We've done it. Um, the more, the more we can push this stream, the more we can get near three. Four. I mean, we used to get four viewers. Nice one. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. I've just picked, got a perfect draft too. It's so dangerous. My, I absolutely, the perfect draft seems to be doing really, really well. And I wondered if um, Mal made a mistake buying a blade. <laughs> um, I don't know. It I seems think you doing... should have gone with the perfect draft. How many would... beers are on there? I don't know, but you get lots of choice. Loads yeah. more to choose from. I think it, the, the, it'll happen. Oh my gosh, blade. everyone, this is making me burp. I think it will happen. Definitely, without a shadow of a doubt, it will happen for the blade. Lots of people buying it. It's so sunny, I can't see the screen. i got no idea, Fred. I don't count. Um, Blank for Fly has changed the colour of the bottle. Will taste... Will Is the it taste a see -through have changed? bottle? Wow. If it's a see-through bottle, then yeah. Best Elf from Cornwall. Um, Verdant from Cornwall or are they from Devon? Verdant are pretty good down that way. Drinking chicken broth <laughs> in Ab in Abergavenny, Bobby Moog. <laughs> Brilliant. Uh, I need to know your favourite movie, both. Diesel. Uh, mine is Rocky. Um, original Rocky movie. Best movie for me of all time ever. And Mel's, what's your favourite movie? I don't really have a favourite movie. Or a movie that's... You, you, I'm not, oh, God, you know? it's really like... Some, oh, I like all sorts of genres. Associate with... Um, uh, I, I wouldn't even know where to start. My gosh. <sighs> Don't even know. I just like watching stuff. Yeah. From one thing to another. Um, Neil Long, £10 super chat. Stone the Crows. Thank you very much, Neil. Hope we don't get to you too jealous, but I'm off to Salt Beer and Salt Air Brewery next Friday. What? Staying for two nights in Salt Air. Well done, what? Neil Amazing. Long. I bet, you know... I bet you can't wait to start planning trips again. Just doing oh, did you like see normal that, things, you know? You know, people who booked holidays, right? Something to do with the 15th of July. Any holidays after that are supposed to be 5% cheaper on VAT. Oh, I don't Which know. Which should be good. That's very good. Um, Jordan, 199 Super Chat. Good evening. All out of beer. Wanted to say hi. Hello, Jordan. Jordan's the man who sent us all of them lovely American beers. The Talking of day. being at beer, Tom Green has tweeted said, with his picture of his Tesco beers. Which one would we say to go for first? And here's the lineup. <coughs> salt beers, there's one there. So go for that one, the iCat. Uh, Nye Johnson is saying the blade is too pricey. I might get Mind the perfect draft system because they have a lot of my favourites available and the price is more reasonable at five pound a litre no johnson i mean that's if there's more of what you yeah, like then yeah. that is more than a good reason to go for it isn't it um debbie does it's films shawshank redemption yeah that's good oh right yeah 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 the last fighter what's your favorite movie guys let's let's ask it what is your favorite movie of all time comment below let us know is always out. Crops the sub is always out of stock. Well, the beers are at least. Ah, I mean, it's strange, isn't it? Brass off. It's quite a good film. 
quite a quite a good movie. Twenty eight days later, Usual Suspects, Source of Redemption, Will Neil and I. I'm a Rocky fan. Also, Paul Freeman. Just the first one. The first one was an absolute classic. Rambo, my favorite film. Rambo, another absolute classic where he's, I mean, anybody <laughs> anybody who doesn't cry with him at the end of the movie must have like, um, I don't know, like a heart of stone or something. Um, been brave, been to the pub, well done, Beer Wonder. Yeah, I've seen the picture you sent me earlier, well done to you and Wanda. Going to the pub, enjoying yourselves, even Simon and Mel, Top Gun. Charles Dunn, Top Gun, Aliens, Aliens. I've never seen that. Aliens movies Aliens are fantastic. Seen, yeah, they're yeah. really good. What about Wally? Italian job. Wally. I find with the Disney films, they've always got an agenda. That's Pixar. Pixar, so, Disney. I've always really find they Disney. like they got they got they've always got to put their point across, you know. Have they cut out the scene in Dumbo where he gets drunk? I don't know, I haven't watched Dumbo. I like. You know, they've always got an agenda, haven't they? They were trying, try like... Sausage you know, Party. Pull on your heartstrings. Sausage Party is an amazing film. Green Mile and Shawshank Redemption. I love Shawshank Redemption. Green Mile is a fantastic film. Yeah, I'm sick of movies using propaganda. And, yeah, uh, and TV programmes as well. I'm sick of it as well. It always has Pin My Sniper away. You know, there's always like a message Look at the at, end. Look at, what's his name? Um, who used to do the silent Drop films. Drop Dead Fred. Sausage pie. The guy who did the silent films. Oh, um, Lauren and Hardy. Have you seen the the um, the the silent film where he's being the dictator? He's basically being Hitler. I've always had some kind of oh raging bull story to tell. I suppose raging bull. I've been I've been meaning to get Mel. I had it on DVD I don't somewhere. Think I've seen that one. Rage and Bell is an amazing, amazing, Oh, what amazing was that film we watched? Is it Robert film. De Niro? Robert De Niro, yeah. Yeah, what yeah. was that film we watched on Netflix and they've um, done all his face? Done his face, they regenerated. Like... It went on a bit. It, went it did on go on a much. bit. And why not just get, like, young people to play the role? The story was good. It did go on a bit. I get that. Yeah, it went on a bit. Yeah, um, and he was supposed Louise. to be a young man and he looked old as... Charlie Chaplin. Oh, Didn't Wolf of uh, Wall Street, that's a fantastic Wolf film. of War Street, yeah. Irishman, that's it, Irishman. The Irishman, yeah. Everyone Captain was Phillips. saying, oh, it's amazing, but... Uh, what big films it, but... have you never seen? I've never watched Star Wars. People slag me, only just watched the Godfather trilogy during lockdown. Big Kev. Big um, Kev, I've never watched Dirty Dancing. Haven't you? No. no. Star Wars is worth a watch. Star Wars is definitely worth a watch. I'm a bit of a Star Wars fan. I've just skipped through some That's comments. That's full of so. agenda. Gangs in New York, good film. Good film. Simon, mate, I fully agree that film dragged that the last hour and a half, yeah. The last it just, bit it just, was unneeded. It, it, it could just, have ended, but yeah. half another hour. I was like, mm. it just, um, I just started lo losing interest towards the end. I, I, of course, I watched it till the end because I got so far into it. But I did didn't get a bit then. like, oh, towards the end, it's going on a bit. This is Return of the Jedi, fantastic film. Saving Private Ryan, have you seen that? Yeah, who hasn't seen that? Oh, um, The Man 66, Ford vs. Ferrari, great cinematography. It's supposed to be good, that. I, is that the new film? Stevie, Mrs. Doubtfire, yeah, that's a wicked film. Is that the new film? They did a new um, yeah, it was a Ford Ferrari battle. I fancy... Butterfly effect, never seen that. that. Yeah. Shaving blinds, <laughs> yeah. Uh, that's a good one. <laughs> You've seen the Buddy Holly story, Sai. And Mal with Gary Boozy. No, I tell you what I seen this morning. They were advertising it. Um, that man, very familiar oh, face, Indian man. I want to watch that. It's all shot in one piece. What the? It's the, the new one about the um, Tom Cranks. No, it, no, nineteen seventeen. No, Hello, it's not Jess. That one. How you doing, Jess? Um, they. It's about he's got to get a message to somebody on the front line or something. Yeah, nineteen seventeen was good. Rob, Sausage Party. Oh, Graham disappointing. says disappointing. Can't like them all, I suppose. Departed, good. Oh, that's a good film. Departed. Do you know what? I was just about to say Flash Gordon. I was just about to speak Flash Gordon. Flash Gordon 2. 
classic bit of 80s kind of rubbishness that I like to sit through. Wow, I've never really seen it. Um, I've seen a bit of it. You, you had know. it on, on VHS. I had it on it's VHS. It was all sticky. All the box is always a bit sticky, wasn't it? Wow. Jaws. Jaws. Braveheart. Dun, 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 on the boat. Dun, with a singing, banging on the bottom of the boat. I mean, a way to go home. Yeah, uh, on the buses. On the buses is fantastic. I don't know what that is. It's really good. Terminator 2. Yeah, Terminator. the card. <laughs> um, two girls, uh, one cap. Oh, God. <laughs> Ghostbusters, the thing. Somebody's gonna met two um, goats in the but I already have. Flash Gordon. I've seen I've seen yeah, I've seen Flash Gordon. For me, Parasite Blade Runner. in the year last year. I don't have I seen the first Blade Runner. I've seen number two and I was a bit like American gangster. Whatever happened to those Maybe. there was like a time in the eighties where there was those like You're not gonna say all those carry on really films. Light, here, yeah, like, the oh. carry on films, but then you had the American ones like um Flesh Gordon Hot and Hot Shots. Part two. There was yeah, one with Bill like Murray. Them. There was one with Bill Murray where they took the um the waste pipe off the and they could see into the girls' toilet through the through the pipe Human in there. Sentiment. Porkies, yeah, there was porkies. Whatever happened to those like strip porkies, America, yeah, caddy shack, all them kind of like very, very, very light, just topless stuff. What happened to that kind of generation of films? Was it again that whole kind of police academy political thing where it just all kind of just went well, by the it's wayside? Like Little Britain, isn't it? Little Britain when I was eighteen was absolutely hilarious. Watch it today, and I'm like, mm, it's not really that funny. American eighty movies are the best. Hollywood has no time for that generation. Uncle of movies. It's really, really weird um, how. How that you know the style of film I'm talking about. Spaceballs, yeah, exactly. Spaceballs. Them like them but they just are Uncle Buck. Unoffensive. Airplane. Yeah, but they're just a bit silly. You get to an age and you're like, it's a bit silly. Yeah, police academy. They did do it. Rat yeah. race was one, it was a bit silly and funny. I reckon there's this a well you can never get through. What about to it now, Napoleon Dynamite, one of my favourite films? I love Napoleon Dynamite. So I've got like a brew dog's petrol stations on James Watts Instas. No way. That looks pretty cool. Individually, that's what's funny. Yeah, exactly. Bottom, fantastic. Like, whoa, you know, that type of like silly kind of light-hearted humour. It's like National Lampoon's Uncle Buck, Unbreakable, Spaced, Trains, Planes and Automobiles. Yeah, yeah, just... Um, Sean of the Dead. <clears throat> yeah, that type of thing you don't really like. Hot Fuzz, you, you didn't like that at all. I love Hot Fuzz. It's Any good. I like Hot Fuzz. No, never. You like that? Escape from New York. I don't know that one. Do you watch football? Well, I'm, I'm missing Cardiff Fulham for this tonight. Um, really? Missing Cardiff Fulham. But World's End. Yeah, that's another one. Love, oh. love the movie. Love the Step Brothers, yeah, man, that's really funny. I love Step Brothers. Yeah, yeah, they're, they're those like silly, they've gone. This is weird. Well, um, no, Will Ferrell's just released a new movie <coughs> about the Eurovision Song Contest. Anchorman, Anchorman, oh, amazing film. I don't. Hi. I gotta be honest. Come I on, don't. Beverly. I don't rate the it. Netflix films. I don't think I've watched a Netflix film where I've gone. That was amazing. I just don't, I just, Netflix seems to be, like, just chucking stuff at the wall, seeing what, what kind of... What was Roma? Roma that was... film was unbelievable. Roma was really good. Roma was really good. But that Eurovision film, yeah, people are saying it's naff. Um, Apparently it's got a lot of potential, but it turns out Will Farrell really loves Eurovision, so we wouldn't take it that far. Ah, uh, right. So it was like light humour rather than ripping the Well, they should have got someone else to play it then. Somebody to. would have ripped it. Uh, Eurovision song film is okay. Yeah, Chad, they're, they're all okay. They're not bad. AMG not bad, writing, man. yeah. Yeah. Although writing. I did see that Netflix film with um, your man in, and it was... Um, 
Oh, um, I can't the even... The zombie one? No, no, no. It was set in, um, like, Africa, I think it was. In the jungle. The man oh, who... that was harrowing, yeah. What was um... it called? The, the guy you were like. Child, it's about the name? child soldiers. Yeah, what was his name? Um... Oh yeah, Idris Elba. <laughs> Idris Elba. Idris Elba. Yeah, exactly. What was the Thank film you, called? Jacob. Thank you. Tropic Thunder no, it's, is it's, incredible. No, don't incredible. Tropic Thunder. Don't kiss that. That's something else. Beast of No Nation. That's the one. Beast Thank of you, No Nigel. Nation. Yeah, that's Tropic it. Tropic yeah. Thunder. That's that's a funny one. For no, uh, yeah. Someone friend. mentioned Tropic Thunder. I've never laughed so much in all my life. I'd love to watch that. Tiger fan Monty Python. Yes. The Rock is brilliant. Absolutely hilarious. Messiah. He's not a messiah, he's a very naughty yeah. boy! What's the 365 film? I don't know. What's your feeling about subscription sports, mate? Uh, we do it. We do it. We pay monthly. We get uh, all oh, the sky... Yeah, there's a trick to that. Should I tell them the trick? Yeah, I'll just tell them what we get. We got Sky F1 and the Sky Football, and then Mel will tell you the rest on the Apple TV. So we're now TV. But what you do is you pay for a month and then you go on there and you say, I don't want this anymore. So you try and leave and they're like, are you sure you want to leave? Yes, I'm sure I want to leave. Don't want to pay for it anymore. And you go through about three pages saying, are you sure you're going to miss all this and all the rest of it? And then <clears throat> it'll say, well, why don't you have it? Like half the price for the next three months. Yeah, yeah. So that's Let's what we piece. do. That's what we do. That's what we do, yeah. Um, yeah. AMG Rider says that you keep ignoring all of his comments. Help me out. AMG Rider, really sorry. AMG Rider, what is the matter with me tonight? I do apologise. Uh, how good is the F1 documentary on Netflix? Eden Shaw. Oh, I love it. We love it. First two were amazing. In hell. I can't swear on here, but I'd like to... In hell. <laughs> um, Gunter Steiner. <laughs> it's just fantastic. I, I, it's just, it's, Gunter Steiner makes that whole series... Um, can you get all the sports free via streaming? Um, F1 is boring. Well, it depends, depends on what you like in life. Um, hassle awful. Um, um, Genevieve, so you cancel every three months to get half price. Pretty much, yeah. They don't, they don't want to lose you, so they, they will always offer you something. Might not always be really good, but you do. They will offer you something. It'll definitely be a saving than the full price. Yeah. I don't think we've paid £33 for that particular package. Genevieve, forever. is that the Genevieve I judged with in Seba? Is it Seba X? Seba um, X in March? Is that the Genevieve? If it is, hello, how are you doing, Genevieve? Um, we judged together not, in Ludlow. If not, hello anyway. Yeah, if not, hello anyway. No. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's not. No. Nobody else could possibly have the same name. Well, I just thought um, it's a you know I, um, Genevieve. I thought it was a really you know, <laughs> a really nice name. I I was like, oh, I I, I haven't heard that name before, and, and there's another one. <laughs> oh, Eden Nico Holkenberg, yeah. Holkenberg. Um, Eden Shaw. Um, massive mistake by Renault. Massive yeah. mistake. Holkenberg for Alonso, me. Alonso Holkenberg. All he needed, Holkenberg. I'll be quick with this because I know there's not many F1 fans here tonight. All Nico Hockenburn needs is a podium. If that man gets a podium, he will fly. He will absolutely fly. He just needs to get that monkey off his back, monkey chip off his shoulder, get his podium. He will fly in an F1 car. Oh, um, this guy Eden, the, he's like our soulmate. Yeah, um, Lance Stroll. Oh, was it? Oh, I didn't know that. He's very quick, though. What? Oh, know? Lance! Oh, Lance Stroll! Oh, Lance! I thought you were on about... You're not reading enough. I thought you were on about the McLaren driver then. Well, um, um, Lando Norris. I got to mix up with Lance and Lando. No, no, no. Lance Stroll is an absolute disgrace. Oh, my God. His family are oh, my God. an absolute my God. disgrace. My absolute disgrace. Captain Meeks Adventures. How good is Lando and George? Oh, I love it. They're very good. Lando's. We've made your own beer. I'll off, yes. Lots of beer. Special Lots of beer. weekend last weekend, didn't he, Lando? Superbugs for me. F1 a bit mare now. Yeah, I, I, you know, I have have heard Superbugs is amazing. 
Sons of Anarchy is good, Ozark's good, is Mindhunter's good, and... Oh, Mindhunter's, yeah, I enjoyed We've seen that. Mindhunter. And the effing end of the world. It's good. Does he really Does rob he Patterson? Ah. Formula E is better. Don't I like forget, Formula E. Don't forget Lando is still... They're all so young these days. Yeah, they are grow. I think, I think he's going to I've got be. another video from Stevie, everyone. <laughs> he's at it again. <laughs> Brilliant. Oh, let's see. Oh, can you pass me um, bottle Looking please? forward to Albon racing yeah. for Red Bull. Um, even sure. Um, oh, Albon last weekend. That man should have had so much more points if it wasn't for Hamilton. Lewis, yeah. Um, Captain Meets Adventures. Can't, can't deal say. with him. Have you watched Hannah? Um, on Amazon. Yeah. I can't deal if with Lewis Hamilton. Season, yeah, really enjoyed it. Really, really enjoyed it. Where's Joe Biden's dentures? Maybe he's on holiday. Um... I I cannot handle Lewis Hamilton. I just cannot handle his whinging, his moaning, and then when someone tries to overtake him, knocking him off the that's, track. That's not true, Cannot, is it? cannot. Lewis Hamilton, I just can't deal with him. Cannot deal with it's that man Sebastian at all. not Sebastian Vettel. Daryl, me neither. Lewis Hamilton. <laughs> I said, yeah, just, just like the, the... Yeah, absolutely. So many people are saying it. He's absolutely... Just... Cannot, no, he's 35 now. I'm like, he'd be 36 next year, 37, and then he's gone. I, I can't wait until he's gone and retired and out of it. I don't think he's the type to become a commentator. I think he'll just go, he'll start making music and whatever else is interests him. I think he'd be gone from F1. I'd be like, glad, glad to see the back of him. Um, Favourite F1 team, Cy. Um... No, Sam should pay his tax. <laughs> um, my favourite... F1 team is McLaren. Always have been. Always, always have been. Senna is still the best driver. Um, yeah, Senna was very, very, very good. Put him in the midfield. He, he can't... He, he'll be like... Little Musgrave. He's very talented, but he's a little bit of a wee fanny. See, there's a few of them like that, and we've seen it with Sebastian <coughs> Vettel, haven't we? When his car, when he was in the best car in the field, he was always winning. As soon as not, he's spinning yeah. on track. Yeah, yeah, same thing. But I think Bottas, I think Bottas, um, may be a, a touch fitter this year. I think he might be a touch fitter. He went through a divorce last year as well, Valtteri Bottas, which I was very, very surprised about. I, nobody knew it. Um, I think it's a shortened season. He's won one from possibly eight races. He needs to win three more races. It's a tough ask, but three more races and he's world champion. Um, Nicky Lauda was awesome. Can I cut your hair? <laughs> AMG rider. What's that smile? Best time for F1 was the 80s, early 99s. PK Senna, Pross, Mansell. Yeah, probably. Missed it all. I missed it all. I was too young. Cool fad. I love cool fad. Jensen Button. One of the most underrated Formula One drivers of all time. A little bit of my, um, a little bit of my Formula One love went away when um, Jensen Button retired. Not that I love Jensen Button, but he was my number one driver. What is that smell? Uh, Jensen Button was a winter though. If there's any ever problem on his car, he didn't know what to do with it. Um, Alonso was going to be one massive failure. Alonso's come back into F1 will be one massive, massive That's failure. another one that they always play, um, moaning. If you, if you think about when Michael Schumacher made his comeback, it was an absolute failure. What Renault were thinking, I don't know. It should be... This whole conversation started regarding Nico Hülkenberg. Nico Hülkenberg should be given that drive back in the He would never take it back. They treated him like dirt. Right, that's enough F1 because people are going to get bored. Yeah, enough F1. I love F1, but enough F1. We'll move on to something else. Um, oh, I've got some tweets. Let's start from Mel's going to show the tweets. So, where are we? Captain Meets Adventures. Live in the dream. Italian sausages on the go too. There's his sausages in the pan. Oh. Um, what are you watching there? Us... Got the Wii there. 
There's the Wii. Not Schumacher's, seen the Wii for a while. No, Tim, Schumacher's not coming back, no. Um, Andy's 80s boy. Hello to the greatest landlord and lady around. Finally got to have a drink with my best mate. A keg of Pacific Pale Ale from our local brewery, Wild Sky in Linton, South Cambridgeshire. Please say thanks to you, you to Aidy. Sorry. Please say thank you to AZ, who's 55 tomorrow, and his sensational wife, Rachel. Look at that. Happy birthday, AD. Look at that. Um, Olaf has asked, have I ever made my own beer? Um, Olaf, um, yes, I've made lots of collaboration beers um, around Europe and the UK. Um, have a look. Maybe Google Simon Martin beer. Uh, Paul Ward has joined us. Hi, Mel and Simon. Drinking Peroni Gran Reserva Doppio Malto. Cheers. Ooh, nice big bottle. Yeah, that looks really good. Yeah, maybe Google um, Simon Martin beer and you will probably see all the different collaborations I've done out there, which is really cool. Oh, gosh, finally. Game bed by third round. Um, BT Sports boxes back. Frank Warren, the cheeky <laughs> Put my um, Enoch Powell drinking double punk tonight. Not impressed at all. Oh, Ben Mira, not impressed. I loved it. I absolutely loved it. Um, but at home, like home brewing. Olaf, no, not really. Just, just I haven't got the time. I am. I have not got the time to do any home brewing. I wish I could. I wish I had the time, but it's just so busy on YouTube at the moment. Um, Chris Caller. Callanan, five pound super chat. Thank you very much, Chris. Hi guys, nice to see the sun shining on you two tonight after the shine. We are new to the stream, loving the chat. Chris Callanan, thank you very much for finding our stream, watching our stream, and giving us a five pound super chat. We really, really appreciate it. Thank you. John Morris sent me a tweet. Um, my beer for tonight, can you guess what they are? Well, you sent me a photograph so I can see what they are. There you go. Oh, How are you enjoying good. them? They're good? You've started on the Boston Tea Party. What's it like? Well, no Stone the Crow's house beer. And there's um, lots and lots of collaborations out there um, we've done in the past. Landlord is a great beer. Landlord is a great, great beer. Um... I am going to have a. Just about to go yeah, underneath. it's gone away from yeah. me. I'm gonna oh, have a wow. vice beer. Apparently, there's a Resident Evil and Fallout TV show going coming. Fallout will be amazing. I love Fallout. Um, just subscribe to your channel, like your reviews of the beer. Keep up the good work, Stephen Castle. Stephen Castle. I was thinking about this. To all of the casual viewers out there, it's something I've never done in all of the live streams. To all of the casual viewers who are just watching casually and who haven't subscribed, please consider hitting the subscribe button down below. Hit the subscribe button, the big red button down there, and you will get updates as to when we upload another video on YouTube. So consider hitting the subscribe button. We really appreciate it. And of course, for Craft Beer Lady. Yeah. Uh, Torpor Punk IPA for me tonight. Ryan, that sounds amazing. I've got a Torpor Punk IPA as well. I'm thinking of... Um, we've got two. Maybe we take it up Steve and Louise's tomorrow, but it'd be a bit of a... bit of a jaunt, wouldn't it? Are you going to get that up there? Do you have to top it off in the morning? <coughs> yeah. Could do. Piston head full Ruben, there, I guess. Ruben, hey good. guys, hope you're all right. Piston head sounds right, good. Ruben. Thank you. Leather Reviews has helped me really get into craft beer for the first time during the lockdown. Ross McSorley, cool. Thank you very much. Simon, you're stuck on a desert island and you had a choice of beer. Which are you picking between Stella, Carling, Foster's and Cronenberg? Um, I think Cronenberg. I think Cronenberg. Joe Morris, five pound super chat. <laughs> you didn't have to do that. Um, my be beer is decent. I'm drinking a Landlord tonight, great beer. The Boston Tea Party New England IPA is great. And so is the Piston, Piston Head. Head Custom 
Lager, Joel Morris, thank you very much for the super chat. Really, really appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, thanks for answering my question. Um, Simon, opinion on Brewdog recently. Evil Twin of Jamestown, what should it be, guys? Evil Twin of Jamestown, both fantastic oh, beers. Oh, my God. We had them over the summer, and I wish... I just wish I was a little bit closer to like Tesco. the summer's gone already. Yeah. Um, what was it, the, the comment? Oh, there we are. Simon, opinion on... Brewdog recently. Well, I've had a few beers from Brewdog recently, and I know that they've changed their head brewer, and I actually think that they, they they're stepping up their game again. They are stepping up their game. Um, the lockdown has hit all of the breweries really, really hard. It's really difficult for a lot of the breweries, so they they're having to be like be on their game, brewing amazing beer. And I think, I think Brewdog, although they are. A massive, massive brewery. Now they do try, they do try to produce um, AMG Riders, a punk. Cool. I, I, I think that they they're trying their very best with the the massive production that they have to deal with. Um, and I liked Double Punk. I thought it was a great beer. I thought Double Punk. When well, you see my review of Double Punk, I thought, bang, Brewdog, they're back. Let's just hope. Alan Let's just have our fingers crossed. Who is watching? I sent a picture of what he's drinking tonight. A oh, Vice of Arnon. Looks good, Alan. I like the look of that. Nice TV as well. The bezels on that are really good. Really lovely, yeah, yeah. Really look nice at that. And thin. Yeah, nice lovely. And I love a smart TV. I love a smart TV. We we bought oh, that's done really well. We got a Samsung TV, and it was when they were advertising that Wi-Fi was like um, a big thing in televisions. And it really was back in the day. It was like, I think there was a first... Bezels are like that, are they? No, they're not. They're all right. They're all right. They're smaller now, but, I mean, just have a look at the Apple Mac I got, if you want to have a look at bezels. Um, had Bath Ales lands down West Coast IPA for the first time in quite a while the other day. Couldn't believe how good it was tasting and how superior it was compared to Punk. I mean, yeah, I, I mean, this is the thing. Remember 3D TVs? Oh, yeah, I remember that. Oh, that is a 3D TV. That Samsung was a 3D TV. Um, I prefer YouTube was on the TV. I do, Genevieve. Yeah, that was, that was a 3D. When you turn it on, it says Samsung 3D. We had the glasses. We had the glasses. <laughs> That's how many times we used that. It was awful. That was our main telly for years. That it's made you spew up, didn't it? Mm. Uh, got a Brewdog versus Evil Twin Roaster Coaster Imperial Vietnamese Coffee Stout for ten from Tesco. £3.50 per can. Do you like it, Mr. Lexus? Is it a good beer in your eyes? Also trying to steam brew. Yes, the steam brew. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Pimp my sniper. Same, we've got any merch sorted yet. Um, it's not quite happened, is it? it was, we had the Beers of Europe t-shirts come through. Give and they were Beers of Europe's on. ones. They weren't Stone of Crows on, I think. Uh, no, I preferred YouTube to watching TV. Yeah, I mean, you're going to get... You're going to get natural kind of people tuning like in. Like an integration, yeah. I reckon. I love YouTube. I love you. You, you don't watch too much YouTube, do you? I watch I loads. Time. I watch loads of YouTube. Um, Joel Morris, £10 Super Chat. Thank you so very much, Joel Morris. We really appreciate this. I, I just watched your video where you literally said Stone the Crows with a crow on your head. Such a funny video. Also really want to try that big sausage roll. It was really cool. It was a really good... That, that video was years ago. In here, where we, where we are now, it was all open to the elements. And... AMG Rider FTV. Yeah, yeah, I don't watch. We, I don't watch any live. Uh, it's all on demand. All the television I watch is on demand. I don't even have live TV. Don't even have live TV. I haven't for years. Mm. I I switched off from telly years no, and years yeah. and years ago. Years ago, I watch some live football. That's through the Apple TV, but I don't have an aerial aerial on the roof. There is no aerial on my roof, um, and I'm not interested. I'm not interested. But yeah, Joe Morris. Thank you, thank you, thank you for the £10 super chat. Really appreciate it. 
got loads of comments. Been watching the Stone Crow Pub since lockdown and loving it. Keep it going, please. That's by Ruddy. Thank you very much, Ruddy. I watch both, but YouTube is full of mainstream channels and rubbish channels. You've got to be really selective about what you watch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, there's a lot of... Pardon. Over 75 now have to pay... Yeah, yeah that is a yeah, disgrace. Well, yeah, well... We have 328 people tuned in. You going to read a comment? Um, no, <coughs> I was just going to say about how I read today the shock. The, the Tories have said, how dare the BBC do that? But it was the Tories that voted to do it. it didn't make any sense. Really confused. Yeah. Um, Joe Morris, £5 super chat, drinking a New England pale ale for the very first night tonight. So good. New England pale oh, ale. Is it good? Joe Morris, yeah. Brilliant. Really pleased because, like, Joel, you're, you, you, you really do talk to us about your beer drinking journey from, like, from like Tiny Rebel oh, to some cold. of the Welsh breweries. Oh, the sun's gone. It's amazing. It's amazing. I, Stevie, Stevie, I was just about to say, that was my next question. We got 230 likes, 326 people. Can we go 260? Can we go 260 likes? 260 likes. Hit the like button. That would be amazing if you could do that. Hit um, the like somebody button said down below. We've got the sun today. Yeah. Um, no, we've got the sun this evening. I'm not going to say we've had the sun today because we haven't. Um, Stevie. Oh, we got so much fruit in I'm bloody boiling, year. Mel. Lol. Oh, it's a bit nippy. Wind's cold. I'm in flip flops and a t shirt. I've yeah. got my slippers on and my hoodie. And a pair of trousers. Well, then, yeah. Warm, is it warm or cold-blooded? What is it? I don't know. One of them. Um, I don't know. Just paid that, Simon? Well, what have you paid, Greg Yates? Now has got a thermals on. Huh. <laughs> I didn't know it was <laughs> Bag of trouble. I have actually got my vest on under you, it? Need next Friday got my vest sorted. On. Uh, get a couple of each. Get a couple of four pure juice box and get a couple of bad co off tempo tropical IPA. Right, um, could we do? Uh, I didn't just realize you never go for a wee. Um, could we get 260 likes? 260 likes. Hit the like button eight more times, and we've hit that, that little mini target we set ourselves. It's absolutely fantastic. We're eight away. If if you're new to the channel, you've got a like and a dislike button. If you can hit the like button. <laughs> Careful. Go for 275 from Andy. Be a little bit more ambitious. 260. 260. We've got five more likes to hit. Hit the like button down below. Please. We really, really appreciate it. Go on, log fire a conservative for Mel. <laughs> That's a good idea. I like that one. Nearly there. Three. One more like. One more like I'm for thinking, two sixty likes. Two six one. Boom. In the winter, guys, we're gonna have like blankies and things out here. I reckon, because it does get cold out here. Have you ever watched a seventies, eighties TV licensed van advert? I'd like to. I'd like to, because it was proper like. Pro oh man, alive! Remember the. Oh, why do we pay a TV milk, license? Milk tray man, in the eighties. We we shouldn't pay a TV license. We watch Netflix, yeah, YouTube. Yeah, we should. They've changed it. They've changed the rule. What? They've changed the rule. Just so what? It. I don't know. They've changed it about catch up TV and stuff. It's only BBC iPlayer, isn't it? I'm not entirely sure. You need to very, check it. really, very, 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 really, very, really. We watch live sports on um, Sky. The campfather, Mr. Start of the live stream. What thoughts on the after jam? Mel, over to you. What's uh, your thoughts on the after jam? God, I've done you enough talking. Me, like, I'm going to have a sip back. A glass to try it's twice now. I'm going to get Joel's it's... five pound super chat. Simon, don't don't get Caroline Caroline Reaper in your eye. Well done, Joel Morris, for the five pound super chat. Really cool. What do you think, Mel? To the campfather. Of Afro Gem Blonde in the Blade. Um, <coughs> I'm very, very impressed by the hop profile in that, which I wasn't really expecting. It's got a hoppy bitter bite to it. 
But yes, yeah, right. Cool. Why are you staring at me like that? No, 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 no. It's just, it's just amazing. It is hoppy. It's weird that it's got real bitter. You know that bitter bite like an IPA gives you. It's lovely. It's a lot like I'm drinking uh, vice beer. That's not a vice though, is it? No, it's a blonde. It's a Belgian blonde. So, um, both com countries have got a rich brewing tradition, Germany and Belgium. Uh, they go back thousands and thousands of years, some of them. Um, Take the bed and look of love. News go in. When? Just now. To what? what I said, why are you looking at me like that? Remember? Can um, you remember? Can't remember, can you? Two minutes ago. Edelweiss was amazing on the blade. Oh, oh I that's love. not what that is. Oh, I got confused. Yes. After the gem. After Edelweiss. the gem. I mean, I, 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 the Edelweiss on the Krups was fantastic. Fantastic. What's going on? Thumb. It's always your thumb. First time, second time, third time, fourth time. What are you doing? That's it. Don't get, don't get Cal really anything. Loud, loud. Um, really, really BBC loud. van detection. Um, beer and buildings. It's a lot. Beer two, we zero, crisp zero, definite zero. Alan me, well done, Alan. Have you tried any beers from Jules Brewery and Market Drayton in Staffordshire? Chris Callahan, no, I'd love to though. Love to. Um, uh, iMac's any good? I've really enjoyed my iMac. I've really enjoyed it. Apparently, they got something coming out soon as well. A new one coming out soon. How do likes enhance the channel, Simon? Just curious. I'm not clued into the whole YouTube subscriber thing. Frankie Jones, we'll get into it now in a moment. Um, it's interaction, Frankie. So the more people interact with our channel, so the more people comment, like, subscribe, view for a long period of time, we... It kind of just, you know, it, it just pushes it along. So, for argument's sake, we've got 315 people tuned in now. If I was to ask somebody, or you lot out there, to hit the like button, then it would mean that instantly, if you watch it, people, more people tune in. More people naturally tune in if I ask people to hit the like button. So, it's, it's, a, it's just a way of us... It's, it's the way of us pushing our channel. It's the way for kind of you guys who are watching, who want the channel to grow, is a chance for you guys to help us grow as a, as a channel. Joel Morris, £5 Super Chat. Do you know Tottenham New Football Stadium Bruce's on beer on match days? Yes! No. Beaver Town. Beaver Town. Oh, Beaver Town have what? a match. Beaver Town are from Tottenham and they have a bar. That's really cool. Where they make their own beer at the new Tottenham Stadium. And they make it for the match days. It's amazing. That is pretty cool. It is really, really cool. Forgot to mention that. Thank you, Joel Morris, for the super chat. Um, <gasps> the Raven has just joined us. Hello, Come the Raven. Come in from Hello, cutting Raven. our nightmare hedge. I deserve a beer now. Go on. Nice get the one. beer, the Raven. I've got some tweets, by the way. So, Brian, the beer snob, I'm multitasking today. Why is Simon pointing at my beer? Cheers. You are as well. It's mine. I want it back. It's, it's got mine. A bronze and shield. Wow. Belgian triple ale. It's on, and the beer Pardon comes me? up from the bottom of the glass. Yeah, it does. They just put um, it on. Boom, it fills Anthony. Up. Cheers. Drinking a Hofbrei Dunkel. That looks very nice. I like Dunkels. And from Rodolfo. Cheers from Mexico. Man inside. Hashtag it's beer o'clock. Beer o'clock. Oh, look at Join them. in all the way from Mexico. Look at them, Shepherd Neems. Uh, the moment just went for more since to ask me if I wanted some beer. It's like, see, you read my mind. I've gone for Northern Monks, New World, and Order of the Faith. Well done, Rob Patterson. Well done. Kid Rocks, most of the pubs where I live are still closed. Must be a good 50%. Mostly the craft beers. Bars, bars that have not opened yet. 
from you for a few more weeks, hopefully. I will be. Uh, whatever is in the beer is giving Tottenham. Isn't. Isn't giving Tottenham much. Well, yeah. Simon, do you know any craft beer breweries which are popular amongst us folks that are really struggling in this so-called... Um, right. I think now is the crunch. I think um, the furlough thing now where they're being asked to pay more wages. Um, They've got incentives, haven't they, to yeah. take back? Yeah, they, um, but the, the oh, furlough scheme is being cut back like to 30, 70 percent or oh my the firms, uh, Olaf has a question, he's asked six times, I, I've met, I just missed, there's so many comments coming through, I missed, missed some of the comments. Um... So it's eighty percent, yeah. Um, yes, answer all of about oh oh four from Sweden. Uh, if you ask me again, have I had, ever had any oh oh beer from Sweden? Yes, I have, Olaf. And I'm sorry if I've missed any of your comments here. Um, so I think they're going to cut it back a little bit. The actual incentive that the government pay for the furlough scheme, and that's the reason that's going to end end at the end of July. So. Um, it's going to be in cup, I don't know what it's going to be cut back to or for, or, but it's just, that's going to be the real test to see, ah, here we are, the employer will have to pay 10% in September and then 20% in October. So, yeah, it's 10% contribution from the employer. Cheers from Scotland, Aaron and Rachel from Ace Man. Cheers. Close the door now. Can we play cold. any... Can I play any musical instruments? I'm um, just, no. Absolutely not, no. What's that on? It's fair. Did anyone come on these 500 vouchers? Did anyone come with the 500 pound vouchers they were talking about? No. I don't think so. Joel Morris, this is more interesting than a real pub. Don't have to have money with me to buy beer from you. Cool, yeah, absolutely, Joel Morris. Uh, not only it's just a burden from the government to the businesses, some of which may go under. Yeah, well, this is the thing. So what I was trying to get at earlier is that, is that the more these companies are going to have to pay, the more they're going to lay off staff. So they're having to bring out like extra kind of like budgets and, and yeah. Hopefully just... those staff can go back in October though. Like <sighs> things are starting to reopen more now. Hopefully. Yeah. I don't know, it's such a hard one because you just don't know what's going to happen next. No, no. The sun, I'm just looking up, the sun is still going into our bedroom oh, where yeah. the plaster is wet so we're hoping hoping that the plaster will dry david brent i'm now drinking a belgian cherry wheat beer oh i'd like to try that um from lee hello both drinking nice cold cloud water versus brew dog that sounds good does sound good <clears throat> Um, what is obscene is companies who took the photo cash who are now laying off yeah when it's finished Never, Never going, going to on. Boots or John Lewis again. Boots are laying off loads of their staff. Obviously, I work in pharmacy sector, so I've been watching that. We've got to be a bit careful, though. As you will very much know, um, there's only so much we can say. Um, our stream about a week and a half ago went a bit funny, when I got a bit funny. So I think we've just got to be careful. Um, yeah, because they're with... definitely watching you. It's not that. It's the... It's the David Brent said, man, it's from m &S, if you're interested. Yeah, definitely, I'll have to check that one out. I'm getting a beer. Um, Big Kev, it seems like we just need to suck it up and get through the hard six months or so, and gradually things will start to pick up. Yeah, hopefully. Hopefully things really start <coughs> to move. Um, from Sean, still working in the US, but watching you and drinking Founders All Day IPA. Oh, nice what a one. lovely beer that You is. get to drink while you're still at work. 
Um, Brew what, mate? Hi, Simon. Hey, Mel. Bit tipsy right now. I had a few pints and finished with a triple IPA from Alpha Delta. Cool. Nice one. Hello. Oh, gosh, pardon me. Bloody hell, Simon. The streams have gone all wobbly again from Hoppy Juice Haze. Why? Well, because I've gone for a beer. Oh, well, you said it went all wobbly the other day. Big Kev says the CIA are watching you. Uh, Mel, what are you drinking tonight? I am drinking one of these. The Patronus. I'm going to do a... Expecto Patronus. Tell me to go up or down or left or right to get me in the uh, Yeah, no, you're about right. Look at that. I'm straddling the camera. Looks good. Looks good. This is my beer. I'm going to pour a beer. Then I'm going to run to the toilet. Mel will be in charge for a minute. There we are. Right, Mel's in charge. I'm going to the toilet. Oh, crikey. Mel, thank God your live streams. Uh, thank God for your live streams over this crazy time from Captain Meets Adventures. Thank you. Thanks, mate. That's really cool. <laughs> Pit my sniper hard. Oh, that's funny. 2020 from Kyle B. It's not bad. It's been worse, I guess. But not for everyone. Um... Jenkins, 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 thoughts on Max Boyce? I'm not sure I'd have to Google who that is, sorry. Um, Stuart, love Patronus, cheap as well. Yeah, we can get this for a while, so it's nice to have it again. I really enjoy it. Uh, Mr Lexus, we've all wanted to see Simon straddle, haven't we? <sighs> Top quality entertainment. Gosh. <laughs> AMG rider, wow, no head. Um, Olaf, have you tried some beers from... OO up in Sweden. The main brewer worked at the Stig Burgets before opening own brewery. Send me that one again when Simon's here because he'd probably like to read that one. Little Musgrave, the sausage roll is working his out. <laughs> the old virtual pub, Polish London here. Cheers from Rath. Richie Rich, Mel, always in charge. Um, what's your favourite thing about Simon from Al? Well, I really like it on a Tuesday night because he's down here nice and quiet and out of my way and I can do what I like. Can I be a cider, a band word, lol? No, it's just not something that, uh, we drink. On my own reasons for not drinking cider was, is because I drank too much of it when, well... Cider and black. Too many times have I, when I was young, too many times was I a wee bit ill drinking that. Um, Clowns Pocket One. Hi, Mel. Hello. Good to see you. Good to see you. Um, Andrew, yes, just remembered I've got a Franciscana in the fridge. Yeah, that's why I like this one. It's, it's like a copy of Franciscana it's, and it's not bad at all. Um, I think I missed a couple of comments there, guys. Sorry. Uh, from Suverin. Greetings from Poland. Have a great afternoon, guys. And you. Captain Meets Adventures. Anyone looking to go back to the gym need to get rid of my Simon belly. <laughs> <laughs> you won't like that. Thanks. Uh, Joel Morris. Mel, are you buying a PlayStation 5? Yeah, probably. I probably won't be able to help myself. Yeah, PlayStation. I've nearly fine. finished my game. I'm not quite finished, but I'm like right there. I know I am. Hope you're growing. Wish you more. Thank you very much. Wrath live. Yeah, we're doing okay. We're, do, we're really doing okay. Um, we've had a wonderful time of it, to be honest. I mean, I, I know that sounds awful, but we have done fantastically well. Nye so. Johnson, what's the plan to the right-hand side of you, Mel? That's my orchid, which I've had for years, and it flowers... It seems Once to like a year? the bright light out here. It's like gotta always... take it in in the winter because it doesn't like the cold. Yeah, but it's flowering again. It gives me lovely greeny white flowers. We've got so much fruit. It's a philanopsis. We've got so much fruit in the garden. Where's, Where's the hat, hatch? Simon? Yeah, I need to sort the hatch out in Captain your Meets Adventure. I have a Simon belly because of drinking on a Tuesday and a Friday. Wait. What about Saturday? 
Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. What happens all ending? For Simon, it's like the Craig David song, only he's not about having a bonk. He's on about having a beer. It's a true story, that. Uh, Nye Johnson, lovely stuff. Uh, I love a bit of gardening. I'm currently propagating some apple seedlings. Oh, nice. We got two apple, apple trees out there with loads of apples on this year. Loads and loads of apples. We've, we've got, got a she and he, so the apples only grow on one side. And then we got a um... <laughs> Frankie. Not either Peter B. Two pound super chat. Thank you very much. Hi guys. What's this brew dog drive through about? I don't know. I need to have a look. I need to have a look. But it, it sounds like a really good idea. It seems like they've set up for the long term. It does seem like they've set up for the long term. Drive in, grab your beer, drive out again. Yeah, I think that could work. Um, I was talking about my fruit trees in the garden. Uh, we got some apple trees up there. We got a, um, is it pe peaches? We've got pear. Pear, plum. That's it, plum. Plum, oh, and strawberries. Loads of strawberries. <laughs> but the... Uh, the strawberries have gone over. Yeah, it's because the weather's been rubbish. I think the strawberries are done. They've had, a, they've had enough. Um, There's loads of them. From nine, mine has come through with loads of apples this year, mate. I think it's the amount of sun and rain we've had. Yeah, they need a lot of water, don't they, apples? Loads. We had a really dry, from March to June, was really dry. Literally no rain. And then we had, like... July has been, I don't know, I can't, it's almost like I can't remember the last time it was sunny. I, yeah, well, I'm, I don't, this time last year when the kids had their sports days and everything, it was boiling, boiling, boiling and boiling, the grass yeah. was like dry. Yeah. Um, David Bell, remember the drive through pubs that almost came out of service stations? Funny you should say that, in Italy, there's a bar on every service station, you can rock up and drink till they close. That's just, yeah. If they close, if not, you can yeah. drink all night. I Rutsk, Rust, Ruskal. I live near Aftergem. The the though the beer is not produced by the Abbey, I quite like it. Cheer. Well done. Yeah, it, it is very nice. It is very nice. Pardon me. Simon, why don't you make your own jams? Um, Daniel, we did. We made chili jam last year. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, uh, I think they're dying. Yeah, there's not enough water. You're not watered it. We got um. Oh no, it's Twitter, I forgot to check. Pepper, a pepper plant it's actually going. Stevie. The chilli plant died. I try, I've tried every year to <laughs> get them through the next year. No good. Stevie sent a picture. Yeah. It's the Tartan Typhoon Big from Kevin, Glen Affleck. And it says, next, a sour in your honour. And I laugh because I don't like sours. Which one is that? It's the Tartan Typhoon. Ooh. Passion fruit and mango. It's just making my, my whole face go. Luminance. Just thinking about it. Very good question. Simon, great channel. Do you ever get bored of beer? That is a very, very good question. And I am always, always Don't lie. honest. I'm always honest. I'm always honest. There are points. There are points. And I think I said it yesterday, just out of frustration, tired, a little bit frustrated. Um, but it soon passes. It soon passes. But I said to Mel, oh, I said, if there was a way of me clicking my fingers and having all of the beers in the world reviewed in one go, I would click my fingers. That's what I said to Mel yesterday. So um, I do get frustrated. I do get frustrated at times. Scott has just asked us, just said a comment but before you answer or read it i'd like to know how your sofa is scott after last weekend after you chucked all of the beer all over it last week and they've just recorded a pickle beer review should be fun well done scott and wonder <laughs> well done scott and wonder uh... i think i've got loads of tweets by the way loads of bet loads of glen Affric on here tonight so Billy, um, Glen Affric Beer, Medal of Mosaic. Wow, huge mosaic hit off this, which is a hop. Cool, look at that. 
loads of Glen Affric tonight. Um, and Daryl j- just finished yard work on a hot California afternoon. Cheers. Oh, nice garden. Oh, yard. Um, not entirely sure what that beer is, but it looks very, very nice. Oh, yeah, fantastic. Love the neon orange on that. It's going to be an IPA. So Luminous is back saying, Simon, that's interesting. That was a follow-up comment. And he's Sorry. noticed that you seem to get a lot more views on your food reviews. I do. I do. I get a lot more views on the food reviews. And I'm going to be honest again. I'm always honest. Um, There was a point at the end of last year where the food reviews were doing that well, they were doing that well on the channel, I was thinking, didn't happen, but I was thinking of realigning the channel into, into mainly food reviews. But, 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 I changed my mind. Um, I love beer. I love beer, this is the thing. The only thing I do slightly worry about is my health. And that's the that's the only reason that um, I was thinking of transitioning yeah, mostly the food to food. You review, I don't mean to be rude, but a but lot the food of I review, you, would, review. It, you know, it'd be the same thing, wouldn't it? Banging down McDonald's every day. It's, it's, what's the difference? You know, it's, um, yeah. Um, Food and beer is an awesome combination for a YouTube channel. David Brent. Yeah, absolutely. So it will be food and beer. It will be food and beer. I think you missed the super chat, by the way. Oh, David Bell. I'm sorry. I did see it. Sorry, David Bell. Um, have a beer on me. Dashing to the pub now. Um, much love all. Get a Stone the Crows t-shirt made up. David Bell. Thank you so very much, David Bell. Cool. Um, change it to food reviews because of your health. Um, we've seen what you eat. Yeah, well, yeah, exactly. Jenkins, Jenkins, Jenkins. This is it. Exactly that. It would be like what's the what's well, the same one foot super chat one me. foot to I'll the other. I'll find it. Unless it was that one. No, from Joel Morris it said. You've missed one. Sorry, Joel Morris. Sorry, 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 Joel Morris. We will get to your oh, yeah. super chat. Here oh, it we is. Have. Um, Mel, I tried the Club Gin from Tiny Rebel. <gasps> really good taste. Just like Club, Club Dropicana. Oh, my gosh. In gin, gin form. form. Yeah, I need to try that. That sounds good. Oh, my God. I need to try that. That does sound amazing. Oh, here's a good one from Tom Green, which I found underneath the Super Chat. Does anyone on YouTube have more unique beer reviews? Uh, no, no, absolutely not. Absolutely not. I think... Um, yeah, I, I, I honestly think that, that with 6,000... Nearly 6,002, 6,003... 100 beer reviews, I think... We are the 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 most diverse oh diverse beers out there in in the world, which is cool. Harry Mitchell, Simon, uh, do you do the tube snake boot? Oh. Um, Harry Michael, I I got no idea. I got no answer to that. Um, Janine, Mel, have you tried the Aldi gin? No, Ooh. we haven't been out to Aldi for ages. <coughs> I love Aldi. No, I shall definitely be getting some though. Remember Two Saturdays have, where have recommended that. we'd have a bit of breakfast and go shopping in the afternoon and just yeah. it just life has changed so much. It's changed so much. It's like Well Stevie Done the house out, done the house Look out. Look at the picture of this that Stevie sent. So the first one is his first port and then the Thank second you. one Cure up a compass. Thank you very much. Is the port where he's finished off the bottom of the can. Look at the difference in colours. Yeah. Wow. It's the sediments in the bottom of the can. Lord's Brewing Company are in the house tonight. Hello, Lord's Brewing Company. How are we doing? How are we doing? How are we doing? Lord's Brewing Company. Um, yeah, 
when you get a bit of sediment in the bottom of the can, give it a give it a whirl round, bang it into the glass. Pimp my sniper. Hey, Si, what are the jobs around the house? What aren't the jobs around the house? There's like 8,000 million trillion things that we need to finish off. Can anybody remember when I did a live stream and I was showing off all, when I pulled the wall down? Shannon. Hello, Shannon. How are we doing? Can anybody remember all that way back? And we got people from who were watching the live feeds, believe it or not, all the way back in March. Um, Simon has just been a pain in my ass. Can since anyone this rem whole remember when I, I pulled can't the wall go down? Out, so I'm going to knock walls down. John's Two in of them. Yeah. Knocked. So basically. I'm going to the toilet. Mel's off for a wee. So, um, I was there. Lots of people remember it. So, pulled the wall down between the dining room and the hallway. Cardboard, horrible wall, made of floorboards, originally, uh, with dust everywhere. That was it, Graham. That was back in March. That was March, everybody. Can you believe it? Took that wall down. I put in... A new post handrail spindles. So I've made the dining room and the hallway into one room. Knocked that through. Go up the stairs then. You all know a terraced house. Or some of you, probably most of you know a terraced house. Go up the stairs along the hallway. Between the hallway and the bedroom. So Exactly the same, just upper level. The go some guy in the 1980s um, decided to put ply, plywood, all over the walls. But he'd knocked in a million nails into the, the old-fashioned lath and plaster. Oh. So he ruined, he ruined the wall. Massively, massively ruined the wall. So, um... I know a council house. Yeah, yeah. So you know these terraced houses. They're um, they're kind of they're kind of everywhere all over the UK. Knocking walls down is great fun. Hey, hey, hey! It's beer clocks. Um, Simon is by far the hardest working YouTuber I've come across, and deserves major success. Whatever that means to him. whatever that means to him. Um, I, I, you know, I see it as as um, major success now. Major, major success now. We're doing really, really well. Um, it's been wonderful. It's been wonderful. We're doing, we're doing half a million views a month, Genevieve. It's incredible. I love it. I love you all. It's just, just fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. Andrew Pickard's in the house. What has been your career before YouTube, Simon? Uh, sounds like you know your stuff about construction. Yeah, I, I'm. Um, I'm a carpenter, so I'm a carpenter, went on to become a foreman, site foreman, assistant site manager, site manager. Um, my once business partner was an electrician, so I can do a bit of electrics. Who asked you um, that? I can do a little bit of plumbing. Somebody said you seem to know an awful lot about building. So I spent my kind of most of my life in the building industry working with plumbers, electricians, and getting close and learning what they do. and So anyway, so I took all this ply off the wall. Is that Andrew Pickard? Yeah, yeah, it is Andrew Pickard. It certainly is Andrew Pickard. Um, Stuart Pickard's brother. Congratulations, Andrew Pickard. Congratulations, yeah. So, um... Not long became a dad. Ah! Oh, congratulations well done i didn't know i'm not on facebook anymore so i don't know well done well done congratulations so pull the wall down oh made a mess dust everywhere Still pulled all the pl plaster off pulled all the laths off onto a bare wall just all we seem to talk about is your mess um was that who said that or was that just you no that that's just me <laughs> Um, Sean, for a bit of fun, I'd like to see Simon and Mal review one of those flavoured ciders. I tried the rhubarb and custard one recently. Oh. It was all right. My wife likes the toffee apple. <sighs> oh. Stevie's needs a wee. He's going to the toilet. Joe Morris, 
One pound ninety nine super chat. Thank you very much. Uh, why you build a pub? Why don't you? Why is this? Why you build a pub shed? Seen some awesome ones on YouTube. You got your skills as a chippy. Pulls up. We're in one. This is our pub conservatory. We have a hardwood mm. bar we're sitting at, and we've got beer machines over there and pub taps here. Look, look at this. Proper, proper tap. So. Oh gosh, pardon me. I've worked right through the lockdown. The stress has nearly killed me. And God for beer and your channel, Simon. Just have to sort out the beer belly now. From Geordie82. Well then, Geordie82. Uh, you still I need to drone. And it's been so stressful. I haven't. I don't use the drone much at all. I am just going to get on with it. I'm just going to get on with that drone. Um... Um, smarty pants. Mel, I get the feeling Simon is always working on the house because he has to fix the stuff that he's smashed. Yeah, pretty much. Not um, in that way, not, not like a violent way, like I'm punching holes in the wall or... Mel, you need to get that poster blown up behind you, you can hardly read it. This one, yeah. AMG Rider, what do you think, Mel? Um, how does Mel feel like married to a YouTuber? Uh, uh, like it's a massive pain in the ass. <laughs> Do you know what though? Mel knew me way before YouTube, way before YouTube. So we've gone on this journey together. It's not like we've met as I've been a YouTuber type of thing, and and she's all starstruck and um she. What? Shut up! You're not like. No, 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 no. Why would you even say that? Some of the kids these days. They're proper starstruck. It's like that's all all of the kids know is Who? YouTube. And you ask any kid in school, they want to be a YouTuber. Uh, YouTube is for life, not just for a quick bomb. <laughs> uh, he's head went the walls, down went drunk. The quick bomb, how do you yeah. know? Yeah. Knows you. Uh, Mel, is a, Mel is a YouTuber as well. That's so true. Is. Yeah. Thank you. yeah, Mel is a YouTuber yeah. himself. Um... I'm really sorry, I don't know how to say that. Kerox, accomplice, says the same thing. Mel is herself a YouTuber. I am. I've got two channels. <laughs> Does Mel worry that you might run off with a groupie? What's a groupie? Uh, oh, I don't even know a how to fan explain or that. Yeah, it's like the fans that go to every single gig. What are we drinking? I'm drinking vice beer. Mel's drinking vice beer. I live in hope. <clears throat> are there any plans to watch you eating s s suffer eating spicy food this week? Benjamin Cruz. I do them every few weeks because it's dangerous for my body, I suppose. But um... you've got to do that potato because you've not done it yet. Yeah, are, are they watching? No, I'm just. The, um, the, the um, Bombay potato people who sent me the Bombay potatoes, or the mix for it, I'm going to do it. I am <laughs> going to, I'm definitely, I'm definitely going to do it. I've been up to my eyeballs at the moment, but I'm definitely going to make the video. I've got the stuff. I was, my parents come down for a cup of coffee this afternoon and I showed them the stuff because um, my mum loves cooking. I showed them the packets and I said, I'm going to do this soon. I've just been up to my eyeball, but I'm definitely going to do. I've still got it to do. <laughs> Genevieve, can I give Simon edu <laughs> education lessons? Do you know? I don't think I'm posh. <sighs> my the kids the, the kids are doing really one well. One of in our neighbours did say really. once that I was a bit posh, didn't they? When I'm not long moved here. That's well that was my welcome. Yeah, yeah. Mal, do you put Simon to bed when he's past uh, when, when he's pissed? Yeah, yeah, don't I read him a bedtime story. I don't need to. He's like She gives me a bedtime massage. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> around yeah. the around the groin area. Um, John Morris, Simon is punching with Mel. <laughs> Hi guys, obviously, uh, once pubs open, the live streams might not be as regular on a Friday. But will the Tuesday streams still be weekly? Cheers to you both. Sean Hill. Um, we're just going to take things week by week. I mean, <laughs> it's amazing. It's fantastic. We've got 333 people tuned in. We've got 305 likes. It is absolutely amazing that we got so many people tuned in. It is terrific, absolutely terrific. Um, yeah, rubbing that bedtime story. Um, <laughs> I am too, awesome. <laughs> um, So, as far as I'm concerned right now, I'm going to get to Matty Pan's comments in a moment. I'm going to hold it there, actually, and, and read that. But um, as, as, as far as I'm concerned, the, the, the live feeds are still doing well. Whilst they're still doing well, I'm going to carry on. If there was a time we turned it on and there was nobody tuned in, and I've mentioned this so many times, I I, I simply wouldn't do the I, I wouldn't do the live streams. I wouldn't. But whilst you lot are watching, I will carry on and Mel will carry on. Smarty Pants, Simon, I'd love to see you do an eating challenge uh, but go for quantity. Like the big sausage roll, but smash it in an hour. Um, like one of those two kilo steak challenges. I, what would I go for? What would I do? I think it would be chips. I think like oh. two large bags of chips. No one, if you think about it, no one does like proper chip shop food because it's so stodgy. I reckon two large bags of chips from the chip shop. That's just something I believe you are uh, cosmic intervention in the time space dimension. That is pubs closing. Reflow, thank you very much. Um, keep going, yeah. Um, happy endings. Uh, Lord's Brewing Company, five pounds super chat. Hey, peeps, we have guests at our house, so gotta go. <laughs> <laughs> Love you all. Smash the like button. Boom! Smash the like button, says Lord's Thank Brewing you for Company. This, guys. Hit the like button. Shall we go for 330? 330 likes. Hit the like button down below. 330 likes. Boom. Let's go. Uh, Mel, do you watch Simon's reviews every day? You would be surprised how much he praises you, even. Oh, Simon's trying to end the feed. Even when eating a sausage roll. No, I don't watch it at all. Mel don't watch anything. I can say or do what I like. I say good things, as, as you just said, um, about my family and Mel and, and everything else. But I could literally, you know, <laughs> I could Sean. be banging on about Pamela Anderson. I could be banging on about um, all sorts of stuff. And Mel wouldn't Spoiler have any alert. idea. Simon is married to a legend. Thank you, Sean. I appreciate that. Mm. You've got a super chat. Joel... Morris, ten pounds wow. super chat. I only discovered you because of Blue Van Man, and you're from Wales, like me. I spent a lot of time as a child in Barry Island, and will be coming back soon to visit the fun fair oh. when it reopens in a oh, few weeks. Really Joe nice. Morris, thank you very much. Stone the Crows. We are from Barry. I've lived in Barry all my life. When I left my parents' house, which is about a mile up the road, I live a stone's throw away from... from I'm like a homely kind of type of guy. So I, I bought a house about a mile away from my parents. They, they then bought a house three miles away from me. <laughs> but, but I still own this house in Caddickston. I like it. I like it. Um, I like it down here. I like it down here in Caddickston. Um... I got an old terraced house. We've spent a lot of money on. We've done it up. Um, it's not the most desirable area, but touch wood, we've had no trouble in thirteen years. No trouble at all. We've got Chinese's. We've got Indian takeaways, chip shops, Tesco's, train station to get to Cardiff and beyond. We've got we. You know we're we're pretty lucky. Barry Islands two miles that way. We're we're, we're pretty lucky where we are, aren't we? Yeah, pretty centralised. Yeah. 
uh, from the Raven Simon. Have you and the beer hooligan discussed the big stone crow burger? Oh yeah, yeah. Um, I think he's about to do his own live stream soon, so um, he's probably not going to come on tonight. But um, oh no, he's going to the pub. He goes to the pub on a Friday. Yeah, he does. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Big he goes Kev, to the pub on a Friday. Can we see the famous <laughs> exploding beer in real time, Simon? Minus the f bomb. Of Big course. Kev, I made a mistake. What I should have done it, edited it when the beard exploded in normal time and then did the slow-mo but you only did it in one no i did it i did it and i went to catch the bottle and as soon as i touched it i went into slow-mo mode and it went yeah but you can you can change that um jenkins 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 so you never thought about living anywhere else yes Without without a shadow of a doubt, yes, 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 yes. Um, uh, family, family reasons keeps keeps me here in Barry, um, and how centralised it is, how easy it is here. But yes, Mel's from Salisbury, in Wiltshire. It's a beautiful, beautiful I part of the world. Air. And um, do you want a, an after gem out of that glass? Wiltshire, no. Mel's from Wiltshire. No, I got one. I go down to see the family down there. Um, it is a it is a beautiful part of the world down there. I lo I, I love Salisbury. Um, Salisbury. It's not from Sol Salisbury. Sol Salisbury. Salisbury. Sol Sol Salisbury. Mel says. Um, so, does Mel miss Salisbury? Yeah. And that is by Genevieve. Go on. Yeah. Let's talk about Salisbury. What do you oh, miss about it? I don't know. I've never asked you. What do you miss about Salisbury? I'm sorry, I don't know. It's do you really miss hard the memories? That Salisbury's like my home. It's hard, you know, what do you miss about that? You don't really know. Sparta beer, beer reviews. I'm a Salisbury, Salisbury lad. Nice one. Whereabouts in Salisbury? So was Zach Avery. I was actually, grew up in Bulford. Bulford Down! Don't tell anyone though. Is it um, Bulford Down? But now both my brother and my dad, my remaining family <coughs> down there, they both live in Salisbury, so I get to say that's mm. where I'm from. It's not Bulford Down, what's that? Bulford, whatever it is. Bulford, Joel Morris. Camp. Five pound super chat. I had a good night out in Barry last year in the King William. Fourth pub in Barry. Do not, if you... Do we know it? The oh, Billy. Yes. We know the Billy. We call it... King William, the locals it's around here, we call the Billy. Billy. If I want to go to a pub for a pint without a conservative club or a, or a, 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 a working man's club, I have to go. I have to go to the Billy, and it's about it's about a mile. No, 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 not no, even no, that. Stone a, throw. Stone throw. Away. Um, Ian Alfred, did you ever visit Stonehenge? Yeah, I was born there. Oh, wasn't really. But Stevie. I like to tell people that. Stevie, Zach Avery, haven't heard that name in a while. I used to buy quite a bit of beer from his, his beer, beer shop, shop yeah. online. What are you doing? I mean, he won Beer Guild Writer of the, the Year in 2009. Um, he wrote a book on beer in 2009, 2010. He had a YouTube channel on beer. And he went on to run. What was the online beer shop, Stevie? What was the what was the what he, was he, he, he inherited he inherited a shop well not inherited he bought the shop off the owners. Yeah, that was a bit rude. David bought, Brent, bought the shop off the owners. Mel is Salisbury expensive property wise. Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah, Good yeah. God. The whole the way of life here. is expensive out there. Mm. Um, Genevieve, is it Salisbury Hill or Salisbury? It's Salisbury with the I S in. Um, I want Stevie. Is Stevie, come back with that. Um, Stevie, come back for that name for the online pub. Hello, Paul's Beer Reviews. I literally drove past Saul's Stonehenge today. There we go. Cool. Oh, that controversial Stonehenge and its road that they were going to close and build it underneath. I think they've... they've How much are cabbages at the moment in your area? That's a really good question. It sounds well, weird because... that one. I can't find a Beeritz, I think Ooh. it was. Beeritz, yes, Stevie, thank you. Um, I've been buying cabbages in Lidl. 
And these cabbages look like lettuces. No, you've been wearing white cabbage, which is the one you eat raw in coal... coal... Oh, is it a lettuce? Floor. It looks like lettuce, and I'm, and I, I, you know, I'm like, I, this is spring, not cabbage. Green, spring green, green spring brown. greens. Well, the Savoy cabbage is a winter veg, isn't it? So it's not really in at this time of year. Simon, have you done a beer review of Tisky? It's my go-to lager. I like. Nice. I pass. But oh, IPA. Like have a few lag. Oh, IPA. Sorry. Yeah, of course. A few lagers before I crack them open. My beer 52 is chilling now. Nice one. Wicked Richie. Wicked Richie. Kemp Beer Reviews. Are you live streaming from a pub on Monday when they reopen in Wales? Kemp Beer Reviews. It's beer gardens. It's beer gardens and there's not many. There's not many opening. There's not many opening. Um, Tuesday Night Live. Maybe try and find something. If you could recommend at all for the sub, what would you recommend? Make for the sub? Recommend to make one. I'd love a stout. Yeah, there's no stouts on them. Proper so. stout, I'd like. Any kind of proper really, stout. That's a good, good, good one. John Morris, ten pounds super chat. Fantastic. I mean, this is great. I uh, had quite a few good nights out in Barry in the Billy. I know the Billy, the College Inn, which is now the Cherry Orchard, and the Castle Hotel. Joel, I used to play snooker in the Castle. The Loved College it. Inn is where we met. College Inn is where we met, yeah. Um, the worst place in Barry I went to was the Windsor. That's now closed mm, down. Mm. Thank God it's not around anymore. Um... Yeah, that place, oh, God. It's a, the Windsor is a beautiful building. It was one of those cases where Brains neglected it. Was soulless, it was though, wasn't it? Brains neglected it. If you have a look at what Brains did at the Tinny With and the Cum Talog. I never knew it was Brains. Yeah, it was a Brains pub. One of those situations where it's just neglect, 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 neglect. Um, Just one quickly, nil Fulham. one nil to Fulham. Yeah. One nil. Oh, bugger. Yeah. Um, Ian, last time, Mel, last time I went to Stonehenge, it was in ruins. They rebuilt it. <laughs> oh, I'd like to see that. That'd be good. Going back, oh, Fulham are winning. Uh, I think, yeah, it's going to be tough. It's going to be, I mean, going up Craven Cottage is going gonna, gonna to be a tough job, that is. We should have beat Blackburn the other day. Um, I, I've got no, I haven't got much hope for tonight, to be honest. Fulham, my team, that I go, oh God, we've got to play Fulham again. Mark, four pure oatmeal stouts available on the sub. Oh, oh, that's a good beer as well. Mark Franklin, you have made my day on that one. Right, um, penalty for Fulham. Never mind, never mind, never mind, never mind. Oh, going back, going back to Joel Morris's ten pound super chat. Thank you very much for this. So, they spent a lot of money on the Cum Talog, now like kind of restauranty type place. Um, that was years after. Yeah, and they also did that in the Tinny with. Yeah, but a long my time bet, after that. My bet, because the Windsor, most people won't know the Windsor and Barry, but you can. If you're not from Barry, if you're watching around the world, think about the word the Windsor. It's a grand old building that's been in neglect. What generally, it's a big building as well. What generally gets bought up, grand, neglected Weatherspoons buildings, exactly, Weatherspoons. There's talk, there's been talk for years about Weatherspoons buying the Windsor. Yeah, but they chose a different site. Yeah, but it's not too far away. I mean, they got a, they, they, they could catch town and they could catch this area of the town. I think, a lot of people are not going to know, so I'm not going to talk about it too much, but I think, personally, the Windsor could be Weatherspoons' second They'd have pub. to do a lot to it, though. Because they need In to Barry, open it. Really like they did. Well, they did. Um, I've got another tweet from Anthony, which came through ages ago, and I apologise. Halton Road. Holton Road. Uh, let's go Stone the Crow or two. <coughs> Drinking a Paulina. That's a good beer. Pepperoni Nile. That is a really good beer. Oh, I'm cold tonight. 
Uh, Genevieve, um, we missed your question. Genevieve? Um, Pip my smoke has got a really good point to make, because I agree with that. thing is about Weatherspoons is that it closes down local pubs. There's nothing in Barry Town Centre. There's that's, nothing. That's not true. There's You've nothing got in Barry. Like an exit just down the road. Yeah, but He's people. He's worked all the way through this thing. I don't think people will go to Weatherspoons over Butterfly Collector. I think the Butterfly Collector will have their own market. They will have their own local people. Um, I I really can't see if Weatherspoons opened at the Windsor. I really can't see it. It would complement. I think people would have a few beers in Weatherspoons and then they would go to the Butterfly Collector to see what other beers that they had I... in the Butterfly Collector. Um, Joan Morris, the Buck Bar is decent in Barry and so is the Glenbrook. Um, yeah, yeah, the, the Buck, we, we've had many, when, the, when, when our kids were young, we'd have many a meal in the Buck. Yeah. Many, many a meal in the Buck. Yeah, but it's a... It's a, it's a, it's a nice. Um, it used to be a Smiths pub, didn't it? But it's, it's now a nice. Into, it's it is now a, yeah. the Buck is now an independent. I've not been in there since that. And the Glenbrook, the Glenbrook's a nice place. Tinny yeah. Hill is a good one as well, Joel. Uh, Tinny Hill, um, Tinny with pub at the top of the hill. That's good. Yeah, try the Tinny. Oh, I mean, if you're a drinker though, if if you're just interested, in, by the sounds of it, you like to you like to visit pubs for a drink. Then yeah. Glenbrook, the Buck. Um, the try that, Joel. Try the Butterfly Collector. The Butterfly Collector. Try that place. It's independent. Loads of different cast scale, and really good. Uh, Smite Pants Man agree. Feels like some September. Oh, the brewery's tripled. Uh, yeah. X pimp my sniper. There was, there was. There's a video that circulated on Facebook of all the pubs that were in Barry. It was a boom town. Barry was a boom town in the Victoria, late Victorian era. Um, it was the second deepest <coughs> dock in the world. They used to export an awful lot of coal out of Barry. There were pubs on every so corner. With... There were pubs everywhere. Yeah, but there were pubs that were built and never opened because they there was Hotels. special little. T they're like yeah. tax loops where they build, build a pub and then never open it. All sorts went on in Barry. And then there Hotels were well. houses, especially in Caddickson area, which were unofficial pubs. Google Home. For me, Google Home is... is... Um, Bill's up. Hi, Mel. Wife wants an Apple Watch. Which model would you recommend? Well, I would wait a little while because there'll be a new one on the horizon soon or a number four or a number five. Um, but that's just my, my opinion. Um, am I a camera member? Um, I was a camera member. I used to be a camera member. Um, I just didn't really kind of see the need in, in, um, renewing my membership. I, 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 I like drinking in all sorts of different pubs and it didn't, it didn't really benefit me in any way. Pubs are now banks. What does that mean? I don't quite get that. Simon, um, Most pubs are now restaurants, what were isn't you it? like at school? Any funny stories? Sean Hill. What was I like at school? Blimey. Um, yeah, to pimp my sniper. Yeah, I can walk around my town and literally see the remains of old Victorian pubs that have closed down in the last 20 years. So sad. There used to be pubs on every street corner in my town too. Um, X pimp my sniper. When I was a kid in Barry, they were all open. They were all open. Struggling. Struggling. That's not true. The, Struggling. The locker thing wasn't open. There's loads and loads that aren't open. I am, Jenkins, Jenkins, I haven't seen Mike Bagnell in ages. I'd love to see Mike Bagnell. We always stop for a chat in Barrytown Centre when we see each other. Um, Joel Morris, £1.99 Super Chat. What? About the Park Hotel in Barry, the Park Hotel. Yeah. Like Apparently, that. not big. It was never a food lab pub for brains, was it? It was it's always not, a drinking. Is it big enough? And there's no beer garden. It's up for sale. Apparently, it's up for sale. It's it's a it was making brains an awful lot of money, um, but they can't use it. There's no beer garden there. 
Although what I, I don't know, know what's brain, at the back. What's at the back of that place? This is not to open. They're not opening next week. Ah, they said they're not going to open until right. the 3rd of August when you're allowed to be inside. Right. Oh, pardon me. So, apparently the Park Hotel is being sold by Brains. That would be something fantastic. If somebody invested a lot of money into that pub, it would be amazing. Absolutely amazing. Sean has put forward a good question. Simon Amal, do you think the pubs will ever make a comeback? Like... Things were back in the day. Um, I firmly believe life happens in cycles. I, I See, think and I personally, I think cycles. people aren't the same as they were back in the day. Like, my goodness, we couldn't have done this 20 years ago. No. Unheard of. No exactly. way. Yeah. So I don't know. I don't know if... I'm not one to hark back on the past. Don't get me wrong, I'm a historian and I love the past. I love to study it. But... Things change. Um, That's that. Well, I don't know. I really don't know. I blame. I tell you what, I blame um, for the demise of the, of of the pub. Um, it's quite simple. The television. I blame no, the television. You can't. The television was out in the fifties. Yeah, but before not, then, not everyone had a television. By the eighties, the pubs were struggling. I blame the television for the pubs struggling. And not the supermarket. Interesting, very interesting. But the television has brought a lot to pubs with football and sports. You, you you're not going to get the Sky Sports thing, but you go to the local pub to watch your favourite team. I think you're wrong. Um, Joe Morris, um, shame they closed the Dolphin Bar and made it into a restaurant. I think it's a bar. It's a pub again now. I think. I think Joe Morris. I think it's a. Yeah, they is... like, they were selling pub out they, yeah. throughout the lockdown. They sold. They, they sold alcohol. beer. Um, and then people, people have been taking it down the beach, the <laughs> having a drink on the beach. Um, um, the television has been around for decades. Yeah, Jenkins, Jenkins, it has. But if you think about it, if you think about it, um, when there was no television, people, what would people do in the evenings? They had nothing to do, so they went to the pub. They chatted. They, you know, I bet life was fantastic back then. It's not. You're wrong. You're bad I bet it was terrific. Street. You know, you know, we got locked in. It took decades. Trust me, it took decades. But people got locked into this. Got to watch it's EastEnders a on a Monday. Got to watch EastEnders on a Monday. Got to watch Corrie on a Tuesday. They got locked into this different routine. They got locked into a different routine, and then of course, of course supermarket cheap beer sitting on the couch watching the tv i think it goes side by side television supermarket absolutely television demolished demolished before pub. the 50s and the 1970s people the pubs were booming in the 70s the tv was 20 years old by then smarty pants simon is right rich people had televisions first working men went to the boozer i reckon they had a better life I reckon they had a barrel. Just, just having a, you know, just a chat and the. Now it's the rich men <sighs> drinking the bars because beer is more expensive there. Full circle, though. Think about what I said earlier about the full circle. Now we literally have TVs in our pockets, tablets. You know, as long as your pub's got Wi-Fi, you can log onto their Wi-Fi or log onto four G, five G, whatever you got. You can sit in the pub, have a couple of beers. You've got your tablet, your your phones, and, you know, it, it can work. But in the old days, pubs were men only were separate snug for the girls. Yeah, I, I, don't, I, I never agreed with that. We went to a local um, conservative club, and I told Mel that I'm going down to buy the beer, and you're not allowed down because no, it's a men only bar. That's Mel not true. Why are you lying? You said Mel, come downstairs with me, knowing I'd get into trouble. And I had no idea because I'd never been in a pub like that before. But you stuck you dug your heels and in. And I was like, yeah. You dug your heels right. in though, didn't you? You were like you're like, I'm not I'm not you know, I'm gonna give my husband a hand with all these beers because he's that's asked when me we to. got banned. It was I took Mel, in, Mel into a men only we were, Mel was allowed upstairs in the dance hall type I place. I didn't have a clue because... where we had a family party and I said, Give me a hand with the drinks, Mel, come downstairs. And uh, Mel was just greeted with all these people looking at her like she was an alien from outer space. 
Um, and that that was another reason why I think the pub struggled because they, they you know, for some reason they didn't. It was have... an alien out of space, though. To be fair. Yeah. Uh, it was my first time out in Caddickston. Uh, do you want some tato crisps sent to you, Simon? Josh Law. Yes, love them. What is it? A cheese and onion. I've done the t couple of packs of the tato craft. Love to do more tato crisps. They're lovely. Uh, Christmas Day. All my uncles went to the pubs and all the women stayed home. Different world. Bulls up. Um, it was a different world back then. But it's. I don't think it's acceptable anymore. It absolute. Yeah, Richie, Richie. So, totally agree. <clears throat> Hundreds outside by the marina, all milling about drinking takeaway beer from three bars. Oh, really? Wow. Five months now. Simon Harding. Are these, I mean... Yeah, see, that's what's been like over Barry Island. But it's going to happen. We may as well get these places open and make it safe again. Yeah. That sounds really stupid. Sky... Movies. What's the hottest food challenge you've done so far? Um, the death nuts. The death nuts, without a shadow of a doubt. I had to find something deep within to do four, level four. And then how I did level five, I don't know. Um, but that was the hottest thing I've ever eaten was the death nuts. They were crazy hot. Uh, from CV, one of my locals is an old converted <coughs> post office. Oh, wow, I bet that's really nice to look at. I like, like, architecture. This quirky um, stuff going great on Great little craft bar and is doing well. Been doing home deliveries in recent times. That's really good. Um, Genevieve, what's the difference between Barry and Barry Island? Oh, right, okay, so here is Barry, and then we've got this little island here, which which is attached by roads. It's, yeah. not, it's not an island it's anymore. It's not an island anymore. Um, called Barry Island. Yeah. It's, it, it, it used to be an island. Um, they reclaimed the land. Reclaimed the land from the sea. Yeah, yeah. Made a dock. They made a dock out of it, really. Um, there's not many good pubs in my local area, John Morris. There's only two good pubs in my local home. One is a Wellerspoons and the other is trying something different to everything else in my area. Yeah, I mean, John Morris, absolutely, totally agree. Whereabouts in Wales do you live, Joel? I, I don't think you can ask. I, I, I never ask people where they're from. Oh, no, I do. Where, where are you from? Where are you drinking? <laughs> really? Yeah, Andy, Andy Layton. Uh, a pint of premium <laughs> lager, Stella Cronenberg San Miguel is close to five pounds. I'm addicted to salt and vinegar Pringles. Uh, Rudy, oh. have you tried the prawn cocktail ones? They only come out at Christmas and I'm addicted to them. So good. Um, I tried to get the tuba terror. Um, no oh, luck. Oh, yeah, no. Couldn't get it. it was a, it's unavailable. You haven't checked for a while. Perhaps you can check that one. Yeah. CD surreal. Oh, I've again. got I've got an answer for Ain't that it? one. When you go to a pub and everyone stops and just glares at you. Sean Hill, I got an answer for that as well. It was our it was our anniversary. That one? Uh, no, but go on. It was our anniversary and um I took Mel I was selling beer at the time for um Evan Evans Brewery. Ah. Uh, and I was selling beer to a pub um down in Lantwick. In Wick. Oh, that's not what I was on about, but down near Wick. That was for my birthday. It's my birthday. Not uh, anniversary. I thought it was an anniversary. Mal's birthday. So, um, we walk into this pub. I can't remember the blooming name of it. Mm, Box of Dick comes to my what? Um, with them um, going to the pub. Yeah. Oh, oh. Do I say that live on the live stream? Um. Boxing Day, well, yeah, but, do you know, I'm, I'm going to finish off this story about um, um, the pub we went to. So I took Mal for a birthday, we went to a pub down in Wick. Um, what was the name of the pub? One of the oldest pubs uh, in Wales. The Plough. The Plough and Harrow. The Plough and Harrow near Wick. So... I had some fantastic stories. The steaks were amazing. I thought, right, Mel loves a steak. Birthday, let's go down there. So we go in. Um, staff were lovely. Sit down. Sat by the fire. 
fantastic. We thought, right, we'll have a meal. The restaurant was closed because there weren't many people in. There was like local locals in the bar. It was made for local people. Yeah, they really... You know the... Really, really didn't want us in what, there. What programme is that? They started talking about feces. They started... We, we were Literally, looking... Literally, we were eating our... My no, birthday meal. No, 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 you weren't even eating. We didn't even get to eat. We were looking at the menu. Oh, yeah, we didn't stay there, did we? After and they that. started yeah. talking about feces. And I just looked at Mel. I said, right, drink up. Drink. League of Gentlemen, that's the one. Drink up, we're going. It was totally... We were like... And I said it loud enough, because I would have chucked somebody in the fire, into a roaring fire. Um, I said it loud enough. I said, right, drink up, we're going. So, um, five pound super chat from Joel Morris. Didn't the King William get flooded out on the answer? You can't really know, I'm sure it's all video of the place again. You can't on Facebook. Um, maybe they were just doing it out. I, I'm not mm -hmm. sure. I'm not sure if it got flooded out, the King William. But um, thank you very much for the five pound super chat. Joel Morris, really appreciate it. Um, so we went to a pub just two minutes down the road. What was that pub called? And we Where both. We went in the end. Yeah. yeah. We went to. Um, just a lovely little pub the round three the corner. Horseshoes. Something like the in, the, um, the horseshoe in in um, Lantwick Major. It was. It was not Lantwick, but it's very close. I had a burger, big juicy burger. I think Mal, do you have a steak? Did we go back to the highwayman? Chips, amazing, absolutely fantastic. Different, di different atmosphere. Lovely people. Brilliant, enjoyed it. Anyway, um, my sister commented just now about Boxing Day. Now, it, I it's not a. Um, it just seems that oh, I take my daughters anyway, so so I don't count in this because I take girls. But um, Boxing Day, when I was growing up, used to be about the whole family going to the pub at twelve o'clock. The, the biggest thing was as long as you were in the, oh, I get it now. as long as you were in the <laughs> pub by twelve o'clock um that was the tradition for our family but for the men the for recent no no auntie Sheila went Nicola my sister went um other other late Leon's girlfriend and one that went but um wife, wife went wife. yeah Leon's wife went but recently it's become and I think it's just down to the ladies not wanting to come into the pub anymore. They want to catch up on all their soaps and stuff during the I day. I don't. That's wrong. But it's generally now um, Boxing Day with my nephews, my brother-in-law, me. And, and girls. And my girls. And we, we, we go to the pubs. We go to the, we go to the ship hotel playing pool. And that feels like such a long time ago now. When we've... Mr. Lexus, local pub for local people. Yes, it was that. That's exactly what the plough was. It was awful. 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 Um, oh, man. I like the UK pub stuff. names, and I say over here in Ireland, it's maybe 95% just family Burns. names like Burns or Farrells. Like British names are more like Smoking Shock and other Bolted Horse. Yeah. I remember visiting a pub in Poland selling proper craft beer and the barman said they have to keep the price the same as the stores, otherwise it would be hard to compete interest in perspective. Yeah, absolutely. Man's meal, Shane. The Welsh can be a bit off. Um, yeah, yeah. We, I mean, that that's true. That that is true. I, I've I've gone into a bar once in West Wales, and they all start talking Welsh, and I don't understand any Welsh. So so they must have thought I was from Bristol or somewhere. But... <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> I don't know. Oh Simon, I think you've just missed a super chat from Joel, and the table just farted. Did you hear it? It was like what? No, I think I got Joel's super chat. Oh. Joel Morris, sorry for all the super chat guys. Uh, do you know Master Mariner and O'Brien's Irish pub in Bally? Joel, don't ap don't apologise for the super chat. <laughs> don't apologise for the super chat because Julian. Master Mariner. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'll tell you about it now. Um, don't ap don't apologise for the super chat. I'm gonna be. I, I'm always honest. O'Brien's Irish bar. It's the it's the thing that keeps us going during lockdown. 
we haven't gone for any grants, any loans, any kind of like putting our mortgage back. We've done nothing like that. We solely rely on the YouTube earnings and the super chat and the memberships. So, so don't apologize for the super chats because in all honesty, we appreciate it as much as anything. Um, the Master Mariner, yes, the Master Mariner is up in Gibbons Down. You've got a fantastic view of the whole of Barry if you go out on the beer garden terrace there. And um, O'Brien's o Irish Bar in Barry is, um, it used to be called Alan Evans. It used to be called the Alan Evans Club. And it's um, a real, 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 I'm just going to call it a real, 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 local man's kind of like landladies and um, barry barry where anybody anybody can go and have a drink i gotta use a toilet mel's gonna oh what's going on do you need to I'm check i'm talking to nicolette i'm just telling her about loki um <coughs> should we start again guys <coughs> should we start again what do you mean start again you know Simon's gone now. Let's let's start again. Let's start over. Oh, all right. Uh, hello, everyone. Welcome to Craft Beer Lady. <laughs> Thank you all for joining me today, and I really, really appreciate it. It's, it's such a privilege to have you all here joining me. Yeah. Okay. I'm only joking. Oh, Danny says let's start again. Where are you from, and what are you drinking? Yes. Um. I don't know how if I'm saying this right, and I'm really sorry if I'm not, and I'm probably not. Um, Kerouac, hey Mel, Anna Wave, hello. Um, Port Talbot is rough, I think, from David. Oh, there's rough places everywhere. Like, Salisbury has its rough places, don't get me wrong, but it really does. I think they're everywhere. Uh, Pimp My Sniper, can we get likes up to 400? Can we do it? Me, that that is quite that. I'm not sure about that one. I'd like to say yes, but are we asking a bit much? Um, Carax, you said it perfectly. Amazing. What can I say? What can I say? Uh, is Simon lying on, is Simon lying on the floor peeing? I hope not, because I'd have to kick him in the head if he was. Uh, Captain Meets Adventure. Mel, you've seen the black PlayStation 5. Does not look like a router. No, it doesn't. I have actually seen that. White one is definitely for Japan. Is this true? It's so where we can choose the colour we get. Cool. David Brent. Mel, have you ever visited Coventry? Yes, I have. Um, One of my like best friends lived in Coventry a while. She went to university there. So, yes, I have. I have indeed. Um, I'll get on the gin. Don't have me drinking it on my own. Oh, Janine. I might actually... Oh, no, I haven't got any lemonade. Uh, Chris, hey, Mel. When you first went to the pub, what did you have and how much was it when I first went to the pub? Oh, my God. Oh, my God, I think. Uh, I was about 17 and I probably had a cider and a black and I could have a whole night out on a tenner. So it was well cheap and it was a long time ago. Just saying. Um, rubber fingers, Mel, would you ever switch to the Xbox? Well, I've just recently switched from the Xbox to the PlayStation, so not for a while, I'm going to say. PlayStation has just been a breath of fresh air for me lately. Um, David Brent, did you enjoy it, Mel? Um, I can't remember what. Mel, have you got a twin sister? No, Genevieve, sorry, I haven't. I've got little sisters, though. Um, Joel, now I've got family in Port Talbot, it's really nice there. Yeah, yeah, there's rough places everywhere. Port Talbot, you know, there's good places everywhere too. Uh, Smarty Pants, PlayStation Gang. Mel, did you play Red Dead 2? Yes, and number one. Love it. One of my favourite games in the world, whole world ever. 300 people still Little tuned Musgrove. in. It's I had amazing. a night out in Coventry, it was absolutely wild. Never seen so many fights. <laughs> Coventry. <laughs> uh, Jenkins, Jenkins, Jenkins. Beer Gonzo is good in Co Coventry. It was a long time when I went out in Coventry, to be fair. My friend no longer lives there. How's the last of us going for you, Mel? How's what, sorry? The last of us going for you. Oh, I've very nearly finished. I, I think, like, literally, I've got about 15 minutes gameplay left and I'm done. Simon's appeared from the abyss, yes. 
Uh, what is a game of? Um, Pro Rasta, <sighs> what PlayStation 4 games do you have? Right, so I'm currently working my way through PlayStation... Uh, PlayStation. The, the Last of Us Part 2. I've got number one, which I've finished. Um, I've got Horizon New Dawn, which I haven't started yet, but I'm saving that one up. I've got The Witcher, Red Dead. Oh, I've got a fair few, to be fair. Oh, you, we missed a super chat, Simon. That's Sammy S Box, thank you very much for the super chat. Uh, thanks for getting us through lockdown from Sam and Anne. You have been inspirational. Thank you very, very much, Sam and Anne, for the five pound super chat. Uh, we like doing this as much as you like watching, to be honest. It's, it's good fun for us. Um, my last pint cost me 40p. Brilliant. Ty, try Detroit, Becoming Human. That sounds good. Oh, the game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I've played that. Yes, I've played that. I really enjoyed it, but I did cheat a little bit. The thing is with games like that, yeah, I get a bit obsessive, so I have to make sure I do it the right way. Like a little bit like L.A. Noor. Eleven pound eighty for a pint of Guinness in Camden in London. Yeah. Uh, is that mad wow. madness? Really? Absolute madness. Kai, any shame in pigging out on a Friday night? Kai, absolutely not. My next question, because I'm getting slightly hungry and I'm partial to a snack. Mel, have you been playing Animal Crossing? Uh, yes. Not gonna lie, Joel. Yes. I'm a massive fan. Um, my friend like ended up giving me their Nintendo 3DS so that I could play an old game of Animal Crossing. I've got to say, and this is proper weird, but when lockdown started in work, it was really, really stressful. And I mean, like we saw 300% of a new intake of prescriptions we had to get done. Normal amount of staff, but crazy amounts of work. And I was waking up in the middle of the night and it was really starting to get to me. Really, like, I could feel it building. And my friend was like, oh, Mel, you should try this game. I'm playing it. I can't see you, but we could join playing this game. So, yeah, I bought it from my Switch. And it all stopped. I'd come home when it was bad, have tea, play for an hour, and then I could just relax as normal. Oh, Totally were. saved me, that game. Mel never told me that she was having panic attacks in the night. I wasn't panic attacks in the night. I was just waking up like, oh, it was weird. Weird time though. Proper hard going. Joel Morris has found his new favourite beer of the night. It's Timothy Taylor's Landlord Superb Beer. It really is. I'm a massive fan of Timmy Taylor's Landlord. If anybody has not tried Timmy Taylor's Landlord, um, you can pick it up in Waitrose, Morrison's, classic old style kind of pale ale, but it's beautiful. Really, really, really good stuff. Um, so thank you very much to the £5 Super Chat again from Joel. We really, really appreciate it. Um, Captain Meeks Adventures. Now, so you tend to give Japanese white hardware and we get black. Oh, I never knew that. It looks much more normal, though. Oh, they like the white or Japanese? Oh, they have white, white, white places. Well, that white right? and black one is Japanese, apparently. Can someone enlighten me how to direct reply with the red highlight? Um, Dean Clack, I think it's super chat. I think if you click the dollar sign below, it will give you the option to super chat us with a with a colour, and it it notifies us if you comment. Um, the Haunted Coachman, Grand Theft Auto 5 Online is great. Molly is enjoying that, actually. The only thing is, I don't have any PlayStation 5 friends. Um, mm. So I'm not entirely sure if it's for me, actually. Smacking down these um, vice beers tonight. Smacking I'm really enjoying... down, that's a new one. Yeah, really enjoying these. Um, I find it hard to afford three more Tesco friends for the other craft beers. Are there any more affordable options that come close to this in the larger cans? Peter B. Um, no, unfortunately not. I mean, <sighs> Peter B, here's my question to you. Do you like Weizen? Do you like Weiss beer? 
We're both drinking Weiss beer, fantastic quality beer. It's from Lidl, and our pints of Weiss beer cost us £1.25. £1.25. The style is hazy. The style has great aroma. And the style is generally kind of pretty tidy. Banana, clove, loads of malts. And it's £1.25 a, a bottle. So if you're struggling to find the £3.50 cans affordable, we're in the middle of a, a massive, massive situation. So I can understand, totally, totally understand. It's a really good beer. Um, Sean, and Simon and Mel, have you ever been in a haunted pub? Yes, we have. We went. We stayed down in um, with Sheldon East Ford, Quantock. Um, oh, I slept through. It was fine. Was it really? All haunted? the floorboards, everything was all moving round. What and... about the one in Kent? And the and the bathroom was like this big, and the door to get through, we had to like duck. Yeah. Because it was so old. That was Faversham. That yeah, was Faversham. Faversham, yeah. Faversham in Kent were beautiful. What was that called? What was it called? The Sun Inn? Um, Genevieve, Mel, chicken fried rice with a lot of curry sauce or beef green pepper black bean sauce and egg oh, fried rice. Oh, Mel. Right, yeah, it would be the second one. <clears throat> Ones that come in sauces already. If I've got to add the sauce, I don't like it. I don't like it when it makes my food soggy. Can't really explain it. Don't ask. Snacks. Snacks. What are you all... The, oh. It was the sun in. It was the sun in. Stevie, love those. Yes, it was. It was the sun in. Yeah. It was, yeah. Wicked and Stevie, place. Stevie, love those old pubs. So my dad, for a while in Salisbury, lived in what we call the close, which is all of the houses that were built to house the high up church people mm, mm. at the time. Um it, it, it's really old you, you're not allowed to do anything in the houses but that was a pretty cool house wasn't it yeah it was cool oh Everything really old the first orders on a Sunday morning oh I bet it is pepperoni pork salami and cheese my snack is ham and mustard crisps my dad always got beef and black bean sauce, but he swaps the peppers for mushrooms, to be fair. Works a treat. Peppers for mushrooms, are oh, there we are. Oh, that's interesting, so, but you can get the mushroom one, because that's what Nicolette has, beef and mushroom. Beef and mushroom, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I'm pretty sure that's black bean sauce as well. John Morris, Simon, are we having a Stone the Crows pub Christmas special this year? Pub Christmas special. We get. I mean, I mean, it's not that far away, is it? Really, it's really, really, really not that far away. You can almost feel it already. Mel, make sure you watch nineteen seventeen. Simon, you will like it too. Mobiles off. Yeah. Oh, I always turn my phone off with a film. Turn the phone off. No, no interruptions. Yeah, absolutely. My mate has and battles his when we meet up because he hates them. What should I do? As long as he's <laughs> not asking it. you to, he's not asking you to be banned from it. He's is not he, banning you from eating it, surely. No. Eat more. Hello, Daniel Bill. Daniel Bill in the house tonight. How are we doing, Daniel? Right. <laughs> Let me know, guys. Genevieve. What are you all eating? What are you eating? Wait, there, I need to read this. Gen beef, beef, green pepper, black bean sauce, egg fried rice. Man is a legend with impeccable taste. Mm. Well, what can I say? I'd have something like that tonight. I really would. Oh, you'd have it every night. Brian, you'd am I out? Every night. Am I out for a pint on Monday nights? Right. My schedule is going to get Joel Morris's five pound super chat. I'm going to come back to that question. Um, five pound super chat, Joel Morris. The valleys is really bad for pubs. Seems like there's lots of good pubs in Barry. Yeah, this 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 some decent. There's some really decent place in Barry. There really is. Um, Thank you very much, um, John Morris, for the super chat. I really appreciate it. Chili Toritos heat waves. He's banning you because he says he's like revolting. Um, ah, Brian Partridge, are you out for a pint on Monday? Right. Here's my schedule. Friday night, 
do a live stream. Saturday night, family night usually. Sunday night, I do my reviews for the week. Monday. For the week? Not for the week. For the week? No, not for the week. Did no, you say for the week? For the, like, for the day or two. Um, <laughs> for about two hours. Monday is generally kind of, if I'm up against it and I got no Monday's reviews. Monday's a beer day. It's always a beer day. Don't pretend. You have Wednesday off. And that's about it, I think. Wednesday? Maybe a Saturday, one day depending, a depending on how this one goes. One day off a week, I think, at the moment. It's been so busy, so busy. So, will I be in the pub Monday? It, it just depends if my, if my video schedule, if it, if it lets me, no, I suppose. No, Simon won't be in the pub on Monday. I don't even know what pubs are opening in Barry this week. Um, because a lot don't, to be honest, there's not big enough beer gardens and Wales is not allowed to open indoors yet. Which is mad. Daniel mad. Bale's got two sausage and batters. Daniel and a, Bale's and a, joined us. How was work tonight, mate? Pot of curry sauce. Cool. That's Simon's favourite. Peter B, love your pub, love your company. Look forward to many more sessions at the Stone Crow. I'm eating Walker's Poppables. Nice. Peter B, thank you very, very, very much. Would you normally be in the pub Friday night, guys? I usually work before all this lockdown situation, but really enjoyed the last few months. Big Kev. Um, no, Friday night. I cannot tell you the last time I went to a pub on a Friday night when I went to Mel. Should we go to the I pub? I can, I can. It was the 7th of February and it was my birthday. That was the last time we spent a Friday night in the pub. Oh, there we are. So it wasn't that long ago, really. But but it was a special occasion. Yeah, it's not like... It's we, not like... We've got a nine-year-old daughter, so things aren't... It's not as easy to be able to go... I think once she's old enough, you know. I got a question for you guys. Now, I was always a Saturday night guy. Are you, comment, just put Friday or Saturday or both or all weekend, but comment. Are you a Friday night person or are you a Saturday night person or are you both? I was always a Saturday night guy. I, 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 I liked resting after week, all week in work and then charge my batteries Saturday, get out, get out. I know a lot of people love a, a, a full on day in the pub on a Sunday. I know a lot of people do day drinking on a Sunday. Joel Morris, um, Fulham away, one old Boomer Cardiff fan, Joel, yeah, ah, well, there we go. So I've always wondered about that time when someone had a go at you in Brudo Bar when you were with Tom and Capita on live stream. I think that it was another brewery who were they again. Hobby Juice Hayes. Um, no, I, I can't. Oh, it's a real tough one. Hobby just says. Only because. Can't, they're probably watching. <laughs> I can't talk about that because I don't know. They might be each watching. It's for their own, isn't it, at the end of the day? Strange. Odd. Odd. Mm, stop, odd. Yeah, stop, I'm not gonna, stop. yeah, I'm not going to say See, nothing. Yeah. but you're being judgmental. Just, just let's try not to be judgmental. Yeah, say nothing. Say nothing's best. Um, here in the middle for a Tuesday was a busy night, night known as. Gib, a, a granny. Oh, good um, Both Fridays mint as you just finished work for the week, but Saturday is yeah. great for all day away trip. I love when, oh, I Wednesday wish. nights getting so plastered. In our house, Kid Rocks, uh, it tends to be housework because. Despite this, the house has been absolutely neglected since I was last here for a full day on Sunday. So, yeah. Saturdays are rubbish. Yeah, but I've been doing, like, building work. Yeah, making more bloody mess. That's what you've been doing. Yeah. No. You should do the dusting tomorrow. Mm. What was that? <gasps> no, I won't do that again. That was your beer thing. It's the grid. It's wobbling, that, yeah, yeah, it's that. Yeah. I thought it was the thing. Yeah, we've got to get a pint on you, we really have. The pint 365. 
Uh, come on, Simon. Always wanted to know the backstory to that one. Um, spill the beans. Um, Simon called them a nasty word. Uh, and he didn't think that they'd be watching. And they was. The trouble is, yeah, that type of thing happens where you're live streaming, you've had a bit of drink, you say something you probably shouldn't have done. Um, I, knowing, I, I, I did that, I did that. Without knowing that they live round the corner. And they were watching and, and they come to the bars, we were drinking in and, and you know. Um, I'm not going to say nothing because I, I might be back in Rooney a bar. Hey, Rooney, 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 Rooney's in. How are you doing, Rooney? Um, so I'm not going to say nothing. I, 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 I'm bound to be in you a bar in Cardiff. I'm bound to see him again. So He said a few words you shouldn't have, so they <laughs> questioned you on it. I think that's all it was, and it's probably past now anyway. Yeah, it's probably past. I've yeah. got some <laughs> tweets, by the way. James Lord's joinery. Have you or Simon ever had this? Yeah. Dogfish head. Uh, what, is it the 120? Yes, no, it is. No, no. I've had 60 and 90. Never had the 120. Oh, that looks like really good glass. Uh, yeah. Billy, got another for tomorrow. Hashtag no spoilers. Yeah, i got another. I've got a, I can't give you a spoiler. I'm not going to give you any spoilers on tomorrow night. I've drank the beer. Mel's drank the beer. Oh, I might have given spoilers on my own channel the other day. Well, you reviewed it. No, but I did talk about it. Oh, well. Rune, lovely naper made by me. Hey, well then, Rune. Not me, but Rune. Uh, Joe Morris, £5 Super Chat, even though there's not many good pubs around my local area, there's a so good Chinese restaurants and Italian oh, restaurants. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I love a good meal these days. Pub, a few pints, meal. Yeah, love it all. Love it all. Brilliant. Simon, please answer. Why is there more carbonation in a can of, say, Carling to a New England IPA? Caro, right. Um, missed you guys Tuesday, Falco. It opened to come to Norway now. Come, to, come Simon, to Norway! Let's go to Norway. Um... Bergen. Oh, Rune, I'm being a Bergen. Oh. Bergen. We've got to come to Bergen. Should we go to yeah. Bergen? Yeah. Rooney, should we sort Rooney, out our I've next got collaboration? The week off next week. Should we sort out the collaboration? Not next week, the week after. Rooney. On yeah. the 20th, I'm off. Um, Stevie sent me a video. He's, he's on the, the Tunnox. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It looks like the Tonic to me. Yeah, it is. It's got to be. It is. Can you see there? But don't uh, don't give it away. No spoilers, Stevie. Right, i got to get this, this comment in. It's um, Carol. Simon, please answer. Why is there more carbonation in a can of a car into a New England IPA? I'm presuming that is a New England IPA, an NIPA. Um, right. Um, it's forced carbonated. It, it, it's... it's um, it, it, it's a machine that's carbonated the, the beer. Um, it's not very good, to be honest. So, um, should we sort it? Lies if you're on the microbrew, our next collaboration. What should we brew? What should we brew? I haven't I, been to, I I haven't like been to, to Norway for ages. I, it's, I think it's my turn anyway to do a brew with Rooney. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's been a long time. Been a long time. No, it's, it's been never. I've never done a uh, a, a collaboration with Rooney. What are you talking about? Yeah, it's Mel's turn. <laughs> you have to look after the kids. You need to brew an Imperial Stout. Um, me and Rooney have already brewed a collaboration Imperial Stout with Lighty Fjord and Michael Brewery. It was a barrel. It was a barrel aged Imperial Stout. It was fantastic. Can I get a t-shirt with its beer o'clock on Real Craft uh, Beer and your face on the back, please? That would be cool. That's from Stevie. Says, yes, you were right. Uh, I thought it was. What's in the Brewdog screen top bottle behind you guys? Nothing. Oh, it's no. That's the... Um, you can growler. pick those up. Yeah, the growlers that you can buy when you want to bring some of their beers home. It's um, just... It's pretty cool, isn't it? Decoration. Just decoration no, it's not. To, the, to the bar. Yeah, 
Only because whenever we go, we forget to take it. Yeah. And we're like, oh. Yeah. Every single time. Yeah. Daniel Bear, what's going on tomorrow? Well, it's Saturday, so it is my day off. Mm. Which is amazing. How could you say, so we going live tomorrow night on the channel? Oh, um. No, you're not. I am, I am, I not am. Not on your channel. Are you going live with Craft Beer Channel tomorrow? Oh, yeah. Hoppy Juice Hayes, shall we give the Craft Beer Channel a little bit? You need some lights on. Oh, yeah. Lights are coming on now in a moment. Um, I am live tomorrow night on the Craft Beer Channel uh, with Johnny, Brad, and the guys from Glen Africa Brewery. From Glen Africa? No, Brad's from the Craft Beer Channel. Johnny and Brad. And I got to take a can of Stone the Ghost to the wonderful, wonderful party. Um, and um, yeah, we're live tomorrow Frank's night. not allowed to drink till after that, otherwise it'll be uh, no, 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 halfway. No, no, no. It'll be fine, it'll be absolutely fine. Um, Grant, can you rip your shirt off again, please? Who, Simon or me? I'll scare you to take mine off. Also, um, I bought four cans of tonics from them after you said about it. It was sold out. Oh, Stevie, you're drinking it right now. What do you think about it? How's it goes it? when they ordered? I had, last weekend I reviewed, oh my gosh, I've forgotten the name of it, on my channel. Oh, it was the Blue York, the chocolate one. Uh, a chocolate story. And uh, after tasting the tonics, I was a bit, Disappointed Can't, with all of the artificial. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Artificial ingredients. I won't say any more until after. Yes, Carol, totally right. David Brent, no, Daniel Bell is still missing. No, he's not. He's here. He's watching tonight. Daniel Bell is on. Um, Joe Morris, have Craft Beer work. Channel tried Stone the Ghost? We're all gonna try it together tomorrow night. We are all gonna try it together tomorrow night, and I'm really quite like. Really quite like excited about it. I really am. I'm looking forward to tomorrow night. It's going to be a lot of fun. Best of Big Beer series. Where can I get it from, Dean? I don't, I don't know of it. Oh, David Brent, my apologies. Two notes of Fulham. All gone. Red half a comment there. Oh, we're apologies. losing two games in a row. Never mind, never mind, never mind. Rob Patterson, 2-0. Fulham. Fulham. Fulham have always... It was always a tough game, Fulham. You've always done well. Against Cardiff. I know Simon and Mal. Yeah, but in the Premier League last year, we beat them twice. They finished bottom of the league. They go up and they struggle. They they struggle mentally. They they but they go down to the Championship and they become invincible. It drives me nuts. Then that'll be awesome to see what Johnny thinks of Stone the goes. Um, yeah, it should be good fun. It should be good fun. Um, I like the guys of the Craft Beer Channel. I've met them numerous times. I've met. Johnny lots, but I was only thinking about this today. I don't think I've ever met Brad. I don't think I've ever met Brad, but I met Johnny four, five, six. Jenko wants to know what time tomorrow. Uh, I, it's going to be about eight o'clock. I think about eight o'clock, I should be on with the Craft Beer channel on their YouTube, on their YouTube channel. So it should be a lot of fun, a lot of fun. Uh, you guys are the ultimate hang. Thank you very much, Harry M Michael. Oh, it's cold. I mean, would you do a series? Like a TV series or something like that? I don't know. Alonso, Travis Wilson. Um, Alonso replacing Danny Ricciardo. Nah, we, we talked about this earlier, Travis, earlier on in the live feed and um, F1 fans in as well. I think Alonso's pass is best now. I think, for me, Hulkenberg should still be in that drive. It's, it's a real shame. Yeah, but... They, There's almost um... an hour, only an hour left and I'm going to cry by Kai. Is it 10 o'clock? Well, F1 fan, evening Mal and Simon, and F1 and Stone Crow weekend again, drinking a Buxton Costa Rican coffee extra porter, which is going down really well. Lando Norris has got a grid penalty, I believe. Why? Because he um, didn't slow down after yellow flags, or when? overtook someone maybe, today in practice. Lando. 
Tanya Bear, sorry guys, nephew wanted V-Bucks for Fortnite. Ah. <laughs> Oh, V-Bucks, Fortnite, don't even go there. Simon, what do you normally have to line the stomach before the stone crow? Big fat pizza. Big Kev, can we see a photo of you guys when you were kids? Come on, guys. I know you got them in that phone of yours, Mal, of me as a kid. Oh, my gosh. Uh, oh, this is tough one. I don't have any of me as a kid. I mean... I don't think I've got any. I've got them when we were young, like 10 years ago. Right. I'm going to find a young and one for you guys, of us, together. Sean Hill I don't think... is asking for some likes. To the 283 people out there, can we go big? Can we do 400 likes? Mel's looking for a photo. Can we do 400 likes? That would be amazing. Hit the like button down below. 20 likes to go. Sounds like a big kid, like Peter Pan. <laughs> yeah. Um, 19 to go. 14, 16 to go. 16 likes to go. 15. Come on, let's hit the like button down below. It's like this or like this. One of these two. Hit the like button. Let's get us to 400 likes. 386, 388. Here we go. We're plowing through this tonight. 391, 9 to go, 9 likes to go, 8 likes to go, let's hit that like button, boom, let's smash it, 6 to go, we're flying, 5 to go, 4 to go, don't know what happened with them comments yesterday, Michael, uh, Daniel Bill, no idea what happened, no idea what happened with them comments yesterday, yesterday. 3 to go, Three likes to go. One like. One like to go for 400 likes. Boom. Stone the crows. We're in. Thank you very much for the 400 likes. Really appreciate it. Uh, what m music do I listen to? I like a lot of Bowie. David Bowie. A um, little bit of Prodigy. I like all sorts of different musics, me. <laughs> Look at this photo I found. So I've gone back as far as I can in my phone. Yes, yeah, Stephen, you need to eat a pickled egg now. <laughs> Do they want to see it? I don't know. Yeah, go on. 2000. Oh, you got, you know, you got a, two, a, a super chat. Do the super chat. Five pound super chat. Simon, did you see the new ad with Jurgen Klopp for Erdinger with him saying, never skim an Erdinger? Ah, no. Is it in the UK? Is that a UK advert? I love an Erdinger. Oh, yeah, yeah. I love a Vizen. Love a Vizen. Here's a picture of me and Mel as kids. God. Look at my jaw. Big jawline. I mean, look at this uh, jawline. Days after our wedding day? Yeah, days after our wedding day. Look Is at that. that honeymoon. I got hair like today. I mean. Uh, it's on YouTube with Liverpool manager advertising Erdinger. Ah, right. Oh, that's um, interesting. Hoppy Juice, I feel like this is the most smashed man has ever been. I, I think you must have missed last week because I think I was quite far gone back Mal then. Mel was enjoying it last week. She really was. Yeah, she really was. Um, Mel's running out. Smarty Pants for... <laughs> <laughs> you having the gin? Uh, I haven't got any lemonade. Oh, no. I'm all right. I'll have another one of them. Chiselled, Simon. Prime, um, well, the best of you were. kids. Mm. Yeah. Um, Captain Meets Adventures. Is Martin Scorsese the best director to use the music in the movies? Hmm. Have you seen the film Roma? Because I think music was used really well in that film. Simon, did you get... <laughs> Daniel, I'm not even going to say that one. No. Maddie, you're allowed to get pissed. We have to deal with shitty customers. Oh, Daniel Bale, I know. Don't we just? Don't we just? Your channels really changed the way I view beers. I used to be content with a few cans of Heineken. I'm ashamed to think of that now. Kai. 
Well, Kai, thank you very much. That is that is like one of the main reasons why. I don't think you should feel ashamed, though. We all, you know, we we all gotta learn at some point. Well, that even even that sounds patronising. I don't want it to be. We are who we are at that time for a reason. I think. Harry Michaels come out. A screenshot of my hair. Yeah, <laughs> that was my wedding haircut. Oh, blimey, everywhere. Right, to Salty popcorn. Are you thinking of going back to work part time when the kids go back to school in September? Really interesting question. Um. I'm a YouTuber and I'm very happy to be a YouTuber and I work much more than part time. It's like a like a 10 hour a day job. <laughs> um, I know I say this all the time, but big thanks to Simon and Mal, our lockdown hero. Sean Hill. Yeah. Um, yes, that's amazing. Have you ever had a beer from the Water Mill Windermere? Never, never heard of that one. Um, I still enjoy Heineken from time to time. Yeah, I mean, whatever, isn't it? Whatever, exactly. Simon, what do you think of Goose IPA being loving it lately? I've not, pork pie, I've not had a Goose IPA since they stocked it in a place called the Colcatams. And the landlady at the Colcatams would say, when are you going to come back up and drink some of this Goose Island IPA? Because you're, you're you're the only person to to drink it. People are so you know people are so like psh, they won't try anything new. It's weird, but you give them a bottle of wine, and you tell them to drink the same bottle of wine every week for the rest of their lives, and they'd be like, "No way, I'm trying different bottles of wine." But you you try and get people to try different beers, just like it's almost impossible, almost impossible. Alan Mead. £5.50 super chat. Thank you so very much, Alan Mead. I'm moving on to a tiny rebel imperial coconut creme marshmallow porter. Any thoughts? 9% ABV. Living the dream. Smash the like button. Alan Mead. Thank you very much. That sounds incredible. An imperial coconut cream marshmallow porter. Woo -hoo -hoo! Sounds amazing. Thank you very much, Alan Mead, for the super chat. I'm going to see if Mel will... Oh, she might get two bottles wow. out of the fridge. Can you get two Patronus out of the fridge? Let's do everything. And we'll both have a Patronus. Um, I went through a wine phase once. I'd sooner die. Oh, it's that awful crime again. <laughs> um, Simon, Mark from oh, Derbyshire. Oh. Loved your reviews, but feel there's more IPA beer now than Porter and Stouts and Ambers. I love Mark, the stout. Lockwood. Ooh, I mean, cold. yeah, I mean, you, 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 you to you're probably totally right. You're probably totally right. But there's seasons. There's seasons for Stouts and Porters. And, and I generally think a lot of Stouts and Porters are best kept for the winter. Balls Autumn, up. winter... Shout out to my mate Gary Lips, recovering from cancer. Love him. Feed the birds. Tuppence. A bag. Oh, that one went on the floor. Cheers. What's oh, freezing um, I here. feel so at home here. It's insane. Kai, well done. Yeah, I do too. These Friday nights are amazing. They really are. Hi from the Isle of Man. Have you ever had a... Is it, and a, a good mind to find a bushies or all cast. I'd love a bushies. Everyone's banging out about bushies beer. I really need to try a bushies beer. Can you give Dave Nash a shout out for his birthday? Stevie Mel is maybe drunk. She's singing. Oh yeah, but it's the Feed the Birds reference from Mary Poppins. Everyone knows that one. I love a Feed the Birds. Harry Mel, your voice is class. Thank you. Oh God, it's cold. Get a haircut, no excuse. Well, it is, and that's that the barbers in Wales don't open until Monday. I'm having a haircut on Monday. I can't wait. I can't wait. Where is the Isle of Man? It's just that island off Liverpool, isn't it? Simon, what's your favourite 
thing to do at the pub. All the best. <laughs> um, Favourite thing to do at the pub? Um, I like drinking and playing pool. Do you like playing what pool? What pub have you played pool at? I haven't played pool in a pub since the Ship Hotel um, all the way back in uh, Boxing Day. Boxing Day. Are you a fan of darts? Darts? Yeah. Yeah. I love a game of darts. I do love a oh, game of darts. Bad billiards, now that is a game for pubs. Yeah, Simon, get your wife to cut your hair. Um, will you go to Stroud Brewery? Stroud Brewery, that's interesting. I'd love to go to Stroud Brewery. Been to Stroud a few times. Not been there to the brewery though. Been there to work as a... In the building site, in the building game. Have you ever had the world's number one IPA, the Julius by Triage Brewing from the US? How'd you get though? Christian Hansen. Never, never had it. I'd like to try it though. I would like to try it. Uh, Pull for the guys. <laughs> the can't play snooker. I got really good at darts throughout lockdown. 180s every day now. Big Kev. No way. That's amazing. Beer or spirit, beer every day of the week. Any sausage roll left, Chris Matley, all gone, demolished. That is great fun. Um, can I visit the Stone Crow sometime? I will re repay by making you an amazing full English breakfast in the morning against the hangover, <laughs> Falco. <laughs> Visiting the Stone Crow. It's our home, that's the trouble. It's it's our home. It's our little house where we live with the kids, and you know it's it's um it it's a funny one. It's a funny one. I I I meet I happily meet people in a pub in Cardiff and have a have a get together and a meet up. But um, it's a little bit different when it's your own home. It just is. <laughs> Sarah's white first in very white wine. I get a sudden, get some cans in my pants. <laughs> Your favourite Dunkel Hefeweizen and Simon. Mm. It's a really good question. I've drunk loads of them, loads and loads and loads, and I can, off the top of my head. I, so many, so many different names. Maybe something from White White Stefana. Maybe something from White Stefana. Cheer it now. Um, Alan Mead, two pounds twenty nine. Um, Cardiff get together March twenty twenty one. That's a good idea, Alan. That's a good idea. Simon, what about a meetup in Shrewsbury? Consider most of your viewers are here in England, and that's right between us both. Night Johnson, I mean, what we'll probably do is have a live stream talking about where we should meet, when we should meet, what date, if it's safe for us all to meet, that sort of thing. We'll get a meet, big meetup going. And uh, yeah, we'll do it. We will definitely do it. But at the moment, because Cardiff is such an amazing place to go drinking beer, if and when it all opens back up properly, then I think Cardiff would be on the cards, I think. because Always Red a... says get the merch sorted mm. for the meetup. Yeah, yeah, I don't know what happened to that. I don't know what happened to it. We'll have to, we'll have to find a big bar, yeah. Yeah. Simon Mark, can we take me down the strawberry fields, please? Strawberry fields forever. <clears throat> Cardiff's not far at all. C 
CP is saying a York meetup would be good. And it being a Dolphin Hotel, Little Hampton, which is haunted. Ah, Daniel, cool. That is amazing. I need to witness you nibbling some hot nuts in person, Simon. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Bring me some hot nuts. Um, Poke Pie, what do you reckon is the average age of viewers on your channel, Simon? Poke Pie, um, it's between it's actually 30 a and 40. Demographic for that, isn't it? Yeah, it's a demographic for that. It's about between 30 and 40. That is the biggest age um, group kind of thing going on on, on YouTube watching us. I think it's snack time. Oh, but I'm doing okay. I'm, I'm, I'm really, I, you know, it's strange. I've had loads of tea. I've had loads of pizza. I had a big dinner. Kai, I'm way below 30. Nice one, Kai. Well, um, what is it now? The the average age of, of the chat is 42. Go on. I tell you what, if you're happy to say, if you're happy to say, what's your age? What is the age? There we are, the whole entire coachman saying I'm 45. What's the age? My vote be for Bristol. Twenty three. We need to be twenty three, twenty two. Wow. That we're 44, close 40, to in order 26, to get somewhere, I think. 41, 21, 35, 17, 24, 19, 50, 41, 24, 40. Loads of different ages. Loads and loads of different ages. 16 there. from Brian. Sweet 16. Do you know what the funny thing is? Is that. Who's being honest? No, no, do you know what the funny thing is? Tell I'm me. waiting, I'm waiting for somebody to say 19. 60 plus. Because as soon as... <laughs> <Age of Martin. laughs> as, as soon as it hits 60 plus, the demographic falls off. Harry says 60 plus. Rufus 69. Oh, all of a sudden Lovely you're all... 60 minus. Oh, all of it. All of it, all of it, all of a sudden. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Genevieve is 104. Um, 48, but don't judge me. Always a red. No, 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 absolutely don't. I'm, I'm 41 myself. Average age is about 30. Yeah, on the demographic on our YouTube channel, the as soon as you hit that 60 plus mark, it's literally nothing. But you think the people with all of that time on their hands, they're generally 60 plus. They're retired, they're at home. That's like, like when we age into that kind of like 50s and 60s, and you still hopefully get a younger demographic watching, that's when we think the channel will really, really come alive. Ew. 24, feeling 40. Um, Charles Billy 46. a tweet over. Citrus double IPA from Asda. Look at all the bits floating in it. So that's the original picture, or the first picture. Ian Alford, 65. His wife is 55. Cool. I don't know if you can see, but there's loads of bits floating in that. In what? In there, look. Oh, yeah, look at that. What IPA is it? Juice. Juice. Um, oh, that looks good. Citrus double IPA from Asda. Juice box. Juice box. Yes. Don't worry about um, John Gow. I'm 64. That's cool. not a bit. There's a proper hair in there. 56. Uh, the internet yet, passed a lot of mi minutes ago, 60 pluses by. Yeah, sub 10. The internet passed a lot of 60 pluses by. It really did. It really did. Ian Alford is 65. Yeah, he's 65. But of course, Ian, it's amazing. And I don't want to sound like, oh, it, you know, it's amazing. But oh, look it, at this. Oh, I think it's raining. Can't be. Anthony sent this over. Coconut milk stout. What I find amazing, Ian... That looks lush. ...is that it's great. It's great that you're here watching. It's marvellous. But as people have, have commented... I in think. terms... Like, like, my dad struggles with the internet. I've still got grandparents. Believe it or not, I've still got grandparents. 
My grandparents have got no TV, idea, no Kelly idea. Beer club. And it's like, even at 41, I've hit 41 now. It's a generational thing. No, no, I, I think even at 41, now I'm at that age where I'm starting. I love tech. I read the tech blogs every day. It's really old. But I'm starting, like Twitch, I'm like, what we're doing here is essentially Twitch. But for me, Twitch is a different generation. Does that make sense? It's, it's, it's just a different thing. It's, a, it's something, it's like a gamer thing. I, was a, I mm. don't quite understand Twitch. And, it's, and, and I reckon but if I was 10 at years... At the same time, you don't understand Gogglebox. Neither do I, because I don't watch it either. I don't yeah. get it wrong. But it's the same type of thing. But for Twitch telly. is better for broadcasters. No, and I use Twitter. There we are. See, there's people, you know, 53 years into it. I'm 41. I, I, I don't understand. I don't understand Reddit F1. either. F um, R Reddit. Reddit can be really good, but it can also ruin your life. Yeah. Like you can find all sorts of spoilers, like the end of The Last of Us Part Two. <sighs> Uh, Even when you don't mean to, you just tumble across it. Ruins it. Ha uh, Harry, can I come to your pub? Oh, gosh, pardon me. I'm Box. Never no one it. should get that. I don't... Does, do people actually watch it? Goggle Box. I don't, I don't the know The only thing, though, um, I really like This Country on BBC Three because it's really funny. Those Those two kids... Oh, really funny. But they're on Gogglebox. You know, remember we watched um, This Country and she was in the caravan pretending to be an air air, atten air, air pilot with yeah. her dad? Well, that's her real-life dad and they're doing Gogglebox together. This Country's proper funny. It makes me laugh so much. So, so much. But they're doing Gogglebox. But I've never watched Gogglebox. I've mm. never, ever watched any episode ever. The Raven love Gogglebox. I've never seen it. This country is bloody brilliant. Mm. Who said that? Yeah. I missed it. It went up so fast. Hobby Juice Hobby Haze. Juice Haze. It's so funny. It's so... This oh, country is filmed Giuseppe, in my hometown. This country is filmed in my hometown. Amazing. The Prodigy it's back so in funny. the day. Great music. Um, private pub, Harry. Private pub. Uh, every, ever soon when you're drunk. Um, we, yeah, we do, I suppose. Yeah, when well, we've had a bit of drink. <laughs> Red flow is 60 plus. Guys, can we talk about something decent or I'm off, lol? Um, okay, so X pimp my sniper. sniper. Don't like this country, then. Right. It's funny, though, you should check it out. Should we talk about beer? What are you all drinking? Comment. What are you all drinking? Let us know. What are we all drinking? Oh, it's freezing. Mate, are the beers in the cupboard in your video's previous favourites? Oh, that's a good question. Lots of, yeah, lots of beers I really like. Lots of beers I really like. Um... Uh, your beer. Ah, the old old brew house. Twenty pound, twenty Norwegian kroners. Super chat. Stone the neighbours. Cheers. What's the beat? Uh, Robinson's trooper. Uh, Mister Danny Mac. Twenty four. Two pounds. What are you drinking? Pilsner. How many you sunk? Danny Mac. I'm drinking um Weisner. Weiss beer. I've had. Um, X put my sniper is messy. We were like that then. <gasps> oh no, we've said something. Um, we, we're doing something wrong. <laughs> so thanks very much for the joke. X put my sniper. Um, what was the super chat? Let me go back to it. Oh, I've got all the hands, I need my blankie now. Where did that go? Um, what are you drinking? Pills now? Right, yeah, we're drinking, we're drinking vice beer. So all of you are commenting now about what you're drinking. Um... Be allow. Sounds good. Let us know. Honest Graft Amber Ale, not bad for a quid. Hi. Sorry, have you ever bought a magazine from the top shelf? Never, never. No. Owns them all. What are you on about? 
Um, Harry, which vice beer are you drinking? Which vice beer? It's a. Um, oh, what's your favourite vice beer? My 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 kind of favourite budget vice beer is a Pearl and Baca Patronus from Lidl. Yeah. Oh, Steve, Mel, finished the last of us part two. Took me thirty eight hours. Stuart. Stuart, sorry. Thirty eight hours. Thirty eight hours. I'm not sure what mine's on, but I'm I'm. So. I no longer have a backpack. You know what I mean? That's where I am. I think I've got like 10 minutes left of the game, basically. Seriously, this message seems is gorgeous. I'll be checking out the stream tomorrow. I love the fact that it has a bit of twine. Has it cute? Don't the sweet caramel. So drinkable. Well done, Stevie. Stevie. Melbourne bitter in eight hours. It's 7 a.m. In lock oh yeah, you're in oh, lockdown, yeah, Travis. Travis. Yeah, Travis. I read yeah early on this morning that uh, Melbourne's gone back into lockdown, and I was like, oh my god. Hopefully, it doesn't last too long for you. Four hour uh, cafe cram and three imperial ton cocos. Love a dark beer then. Um, Hazy Jane, five Hazy Janes. Peter, um, do we have a chance of staying up? I don't think so, Martin. Personally, I don't think so. Northern Monk beers to drink tonight. Uh, Australia's gone back into lockdown, yeah. Um, just sent Mal a tweet from it's work, a local Travis. One, I think local lockdown. Tweet in coming Australia, in now from Travis. Which I think is what we're looking at in the future in the UK is local lockdowns. Oh my gosh, I got loads. Right, Mal's going to do the tweets. Yeah, for, from Longling. I'm going to go and have a wee while Mal does the tweets. Uh, from Longling, welcome for a pint. He says. Oh, wow, that looks wicked. Amazing. Yep. Yeah. Um, from Travis, watching Simon and Mel at work. Oh my god, is that safe, Travis? Are you allowed to do that? Well, <laughs> he's watching from work. To the electric? <laughs> I think so. Um, another one from Longling. <laughs> that looks amazing. Those windows are something else. Looking good, looking good. Uh, what else have I got here? Uh, another one from Longling. Just a lager. Nice looking lager and recycled glass bottles as well, which is something we don't get here in the UK, which I think is a bit silly. Okay, thank you for all your tweets, guys. Uh, Genevieve, I love British crisps. Travis, shush Mel. I won't say anything. <laughs> The old, uh, the old oak brew house. Oh yes, nice Leeds flags there. Oh, I've got something from Stevie as well. Just come through. It's a video. <laughs> Love it, Stevie. Glad you're enjoying that one. Really good to see that. It's wicked. Uh, so he's gone to get some crisps. No, I think he's gone to the toilet. He might get some crisps though. He normally does, doesn't he? Like, shoves them in like. Um, Genevieve, I'm young, free, and single. Uh, um, it's nice, definitely nice. Uh, Reflo, Oatly Barista. <laughs> Stevie answers with good luck. Uh, full time, Fulham 2, Cardiff 0. I won't tell Simon. He might get in a grump and like turn off the feed and stuff. So I, we won't tell him till tomorrow. Big Kev, what's your favourite crisp smell? Oh, my favourite crisps were the Walker's Crispy. Were they crispy, extra crispy or extra crunchy, something like salt and vinegar? I love salt and vinegar crisps, but I can't get them anymore. They just disappeared. Um, Kai, Kai, any chance of an all-nighter stream? This is the most fun I've had in ages. Ah, oh, me, I don't know. I've been in work since, like, 10 to 9 this morning. I'm not sure I could do that. 
Harry, what actors float your boat? Oh my gosh. That's a really, really good question. Um, oh, there's loads of actors I really like to watch. Olivia Coleman is one of them. Really like, I really enjoy her work. Uh, who else? Who else? Melda Staunton. Is that her name? I'm not sure that's even her name. I like. Oh, God. Don't know. There's so many. Um, oh, who's that? man i really enjoy watching as well because he's really good he was in we watched um i don't know what his name is we watched the jojo rabbit the other day oh fast bender no not him uh what was the guy the i don't know what his name is but he's I don't really know. He's good very famous yeah. Though, yeah he's really good i really like watching him he's in um three billboards he's in jojo oh. rabbit He's in loads of films. Really good. I really enjoy him. I'm sorry, but I don't know his name. Uh, Harry, really appreciate you guys answering my question. Oh, thank you. Archie, having a bash. Sam Rockwell, that's him. Yes, it is Sam Rockwell. Yeah, I really enjoy his work. Amazing. Yeah. I like, I, and I always end up loving his character. Either he starts off as a baddie, but he's always secretly a good one. No, really like him. Sam Rockwell, that is him. Brandon Gresson, did Mel and Simon watch TFI Fridays in the 90s? No. Thank, it's Friday, I did. A little bit, whenever I was around my mate's house. And i got to be honest, I on. didn't watch it. It wasn't until it was past yeah. me and I was like, oh, totally missed out on something there. Yeah. I used to watch Eurovision though. Is it called Eurovision? Uh, Simon Slowwell. Oh, appearances from under the bar. Um, it wasn't Eurovision, but what was it called? The Word. I remember the, the Word. It was on Friday nights, wasn't it, The Word? The Euro, Word. Euro Trash. Was it Euro Trash? Yeah, I used to watch that. What was it with... <laughs> um, I I love that. Sarah Cox, when she was on the telly as a youngster. What was it about that woman? It's what always... did she do on the telly? She Euro, no, one year of business. Like <clears> this, it wasn't that. It was Euro trash. Crisp time. It's getting well. It's getting there. And uh, the the girly show. Yeah, she did the girly show. Oh, I don't remember. Don't yeah, remember. I don't the even know show. what that was. Yeah. I like Sarah Cox. I always like Sarah Cox. Yeah, she's she... funny. Made me laugh on Radio One. Yeah, the girly show. It was the girly show, but she was quite good. She's quite good in that. She was quite fit though, Sarah Cox. I thought, mm. as a girl and girl thing. No, that was wrong. I didn't mean that. Not, I didn't say that. That's not what I meant. Did she have a good set of knockers on her? I don't know. She, she was good. I liked her. Mm. <laughs> French guy. Mm. Cheers. CV, thank God, from Smite Pants. Sarah Cox is a legend. Yeah, I think so. Melinda Messenger on Eurochash. Yeah. She, she's passed away, hasn't she? Has she? Let me check. No, I don't think she has. Did yeah. her boobs explode? No. Champs, she? Oh, no, no. I'm, I'm thinking of one of the people on it. She's yeah. like... Pro Sorry, my bad. Oh, no, she's, she's from so right the woods. Melinda Messenger. She, well, she's well, down from Wiltshire. She's yeah, Wiltshire. but that's odd though because she had to have plastics. Normally from Wiltshire, they, they don't need plastics. Shut up. They call them Bristol's, big Bristol. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, yeah. yeah. Uh, thanks for your streams, you two. Cheer me right up from Archie's. Abby Titman. Oh, uh, wow. Uh, she was a bit young for us. Oh, was she? No, she wasn't. I'm thinking of somebody entirely no, different. No, Abby, Abby she was, um, she, she made it famous for, for no, no apparent think, reason, did she? Big you know? to Wobblers. Well, a bit like that fucking orc. Uh, language, yeah. Timothy. Um, Sam Fox. That was she one who got for... banned from t Twitter. She made it from nowhere, though. What's her name? From Bournemouth. No, I don't even know where she's from. Katie Hopkins. She made it from nothing. She don't have, she don't have a Ugh. big pair of knockers though. She's got a big, big old horrible nose on her, haven't she? Katie Hopkins. Oh, she's got a big old horrible everything, haven't she? Yeah. 
Abby. Yeah, the bloke from Boo Pitman. Yeah, John, John Leslie. John Leslie. Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah, yeah, John yeah, Leslie yeah. and Eureka that's Johnson. How, it was, that, that's, how, that's what made her famous. We shouldn't talk about that. Katie Hopkins is brilliant. Uh, is well, yeah, really? well, well, people's opinions, people's opinions, that, that's it. Big cop. Challenge Annika. She was on The Apprentice. Challenge Annika. I love, I love, well, well, I mean, it's your, it's, it's, it's your opinion, it's all your opinions. Um, I'm not going to argue with these. to find her very much anymore because she's been banned from Twitter. Well, that's your, you shouldn't be. I, I no, think yeah. personally. <laughs> Nigel Tile. Yeah, I can't say that one. But yeah, I totally agree. She it's everyone's so opinion. Offensive. It's everyone's opinion, though, the, isn't it? The, the words that she used that banned her from Twitter was totally offensive and she meant it. Right. Anyway, let's get off the let's get off the political stuff now. Hi guys, love the channel. <laughs> Are you going to throw a shift up that? Oh, oh bl blimey! Jesus. Um, James Stanley. Uh, that just caught me by complete surprise. Um, uh, I'm gonna put my head on the pillow. My eyes are gonna close. I'm gonna go to sleep. Um, sent you a weekend selfie on Insta, Mel. There we I'll go. I'll check it out now. Oh gosh, pardon me. <laughs> yeah. Is that Lolo? Lolo! She's from <laughs> Wiltshire. Stevie. Stevie sent that one out. She's from Wiltshire. Lolo! They yeah, they, they exploded on her. Yeah. yeah. That was Lolo, Lolo Ferrari. She's not that with was. us anymore. God she's rest not her with soul. Us. Yeah, she couldn't. But David says you know, I've seen bigger. Do you know she couldn't lay on her back to sleep because it, it was crushing her. Uh, Chest, yeah. Lolo Ferrari, who loved the 90s. She was a foreigner. <laughs> Blimey. Um, Aren't we all? Yeah, is Johnny Depp cute? Um, I, oh, I, no, no, let's not go into all of these strange, weird... Um, um, Steve says, stuff God, that, bless, God bless us all. Yeah, they were all natural, always a red. Uh, no. no, no, they were filled with silicone, and exploded, and that's what killed her. But if you go to Wiltshire, you might find something similar down there, natural or Bristol, that kind of area of the UK. Um, Genevieve said she had serious mental health issues. To be honest, this sounds really harsh, but mm. she put herself through a lot to get to that, didn't she? So you, yeah. I think I agree with you on that one. Um, Bulls up. Hi, Mel. Were you a Nirvana fan before Foo Fighters? Um, oh, thing is, no, I don't <coughs> think I was. I think I was a Foo Fighters fan before. I was only 10 when Kurt Cobain killed himself, so it was a long time before I kind of got into Nirvana. Oh, gosh, pardon me. Yeah, it must be it must be funny watching us. Yeah, Travis is saying very funny watching being sober watching us having a drink. Oh, look at this one, Mark. Who remembers God's gift with Davina McCall? No, I don't. I, I don't. But yeah. I remember. Was that when? She, was that back in her her heroin days? Yeah, she was. Uh, yeah. Because I remember that. Kurt Cobain, what a legend. Um. Harry Michael saying, Simon and Mel, can you please do a favour? Please send a classic real ale craft beer greetings to my dad, you Michael. Be out. Stone should. the Crows to Michael's dad. Stone the Crows to Michael's dad. There we go. Thank you for joining us. What a legend. Only 10, all of you. Uh, Mel's, Mel's 30, 34, 37. 35. Oh. oh my god, Simon doesn't know how old I am. Yeah. We'll just leave it at that, guys. Can confirm, please, well, reflow, yeah, on that on that lady, yeah. Um, That was on about 3am on a Saturday night, yeah. We now have the nudist show in, on Channel 4. Stallone or Schwarzenegger? Um, I think they both made classic kind of 80s, early 90s movies. From Commando to to Rocky to yeah they 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 were they were they were fantastic. Do we ever get slugs in the house? 
Yeah. Reflow. Yes. Old terraced houses it does Old happen. Old terraced common. house. Yeah, we definitely, definitely get slugs in the house. Yeah, horrible things. It's, they come in through your... Um, Brickwork. No, the fireplace. They come in through the old fireplaces. As yeah. Travis says, Stallone. Rocky or Rambo. Tough call, that. I slowly become more... Like, like, as I got older, more of a Rambo fan. But I still think Rocky, yeah. Yeah, definitely, definitely Rocky. The first one, though. R.I.P. BBC's Little Britain. Get to the chopper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Arnold Schwarzenegger. Get to the chopper, yeah. Friday, Channel 5 for a teenage boy. Friday night. So nostalgic. Yeah, Big Kev. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. The stuff that used to be on, on the telly was like... We'd have to put the, the TV on mute when your mum and dad went to bed. Yeah, the stuff that used to be on was like so. Di so I, I don't watch hear. that. I, I don't know what's on. Uh, these Martin, days anymore. Family Guy, or The Simpsons? Well, I used to love The Simpsons, but Family Guy is funny as. I think I prefer Family Guy now. It's much more adult themed. It's very funny. Nigel Johnson, Simon is double punk worth eleven pound for four cans. Oh yeah. <coughs> It's it's an eight percent, eight percent ABV beer. It's, it's it's good stuff, good stuff. I've got a Four question cans. from Don. Yeah. Aliens or Predator? No. I'm always I I think Aliens because I I quite like I enjoyed those and I never really watched Predator. <sighs> I don't know why they mixed it up. The whole Aliens versus Predator thing that got a bit weird. What happened though? Pimp my sniper. Oi, Simon Mel, do you like Catatonia? I am a massive fan of Catatonia. When I was about, when I was 16, just doing my GCSEs, Catatonia were a massive band in my life. I loved it. Totally loved it. Alien 3 is a good standalone. What's the one with um, Winona Ryder in it? Alien Resurrection, is it? That was a re I really enjoyed that film, where she goes in and she sees all the, like... The ones that they've tried, because she's obviously like some kind of clone, but all the ones that went wrong, she's like, run, ah, and burns them all down. That, I like that film. I'd like to watch them again, the Alien movies. The first one was yeah, with, um, proper old, old, old movie. What's that man's name? I've forgotten his name. Classic, classic film. All I can think is his name is, um, yes, yeah, she was a bot. Uh, was it Carl John, Weathers? That, some, John was Hunt. it Carl Weathers? Alien with John Hunt. Sorry, John, John Hurt. John Hurt. And it comes out of his tummy. <sighs> Who didn't shit themselves when they watched yeah, that? Was it, was it Carl Weathers? The... Um, the man who grabbed hold of the alien and had a fight with him. Ron Pillman. Did he have a band on his head? If you believe that's going to, yeah. Yeah, no worries, Daniel. They were fantastic. Them beers were true. I still got some more to go. But they were amazing. Ah, there we are. Lance Hendrickson, his name was. So he grabbed, he grabbed, he managed to grab hold of the alien and hold it for a while and then the alien just killed guy. him. I, yeah, I think so. Yeah, I think so. I'm so cautious. Like I'm saying, I, 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 I went along the lines of saying. Have you played Alien that. Man? No, I don't think I've ever played the game. I did play the game on uh, maybe the Sega when I was a kid, and yeah, I was scared of it. I'm totally scared. Your favorite Christmas tune. <laughs> it's too early for that, mate. Too early for that, Harry. Come on, kill me. Yeah, 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 yeah. The Alien and Aliens is really ugly, yeah. We've got a stapler. Good evening. Right? I'm not even joking about this in work. We've got a stapler. And you have to push this thing and it clicks out like that. It comes out. Yeah. Right. And I was like, with, I've got a co-worker, he's 20. Is it? His name is Evan. And I was like, Evan, what's this? Because in my mind, it was Alien. Yeah. And he was like, oh, it's that movie, isn't it? 
I was like, yeah, mate, it's alien. It looks just like it, but it doesn't. It's just a stapler. He knew. Yeah, he knew. He's good, like, with stuff like that. Yeah. Common sense, he hasn't got any of it. No offence, Ev. But, no. Kindergarten Cop. Oh, I like that one. Yeah, yeah. it's a good film. Good film. Monkey or Kung Fu. I don't think I've seen either of them. Gold Nine, Nintendo oh, 64. That, that was a really good film. Classic twins. Game. I remember Twins. Twins All is the good. kids love Danny DeVito now, don't they? Even Molly and Annabelle know who Danny DeVito yeah, is. Yeah, they, they love, love it. him. Proper weird. Yeah. That was proper Welshy. James Bond. He would beat the aliens, definitely. Tremors, yeah. yeah. Tremors was a wicked film. Tremors! Oh. I remember being proper scared yeah. of that. Total Recalls. Yes, Adam. I'm, yeah, almost like you could do that and that all at the same time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that a game? Yeah. Don't no, Total that. Recall. No, I don't know what it is. It's a, on a, a, a Mars is based. And there's aliens everywhere and the prostitution and whatever. And this, this woman goes up to a man in the bar and rips open her top and goes, how much or whatever. And, and, and she's got three boobs and he's like, ooh, you know, almost like there's too much boobs to, to, to play with. A bit like the season of Game of Thrones then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A bit like that. A bit like that. You've been pushing too many pencils. Big Trouble in Little China, Blade Runner. Blade Big Runner. Trouble in Little China was fabulous. What a fabulous movie. Where can I watch that? That's the trouble. These old movies, where are they going? And that's a question to everybody. Where do these old movies go? If I wanted to watch, say, Big Trouble in Little China, where do I go to, to, to rent that now? To buy it, is it is it on Google Play? Is it just check it out on Amazon? On DVD? Yeah, on Amazon they tend to be. Oh, bugger! YouTube from Travis. Is it? The original studio is no charge. You can see it online. I Built think you can it's on buy Amazon them directly from the original studios, but you have to. YouTube. To that is amazing. You, what? What to just watch on YouTube was it? Part of you a have YouTube to pay movie. For it. Yeah. Big Trouble in I'm Little trying. China was a wicked, wicked, wicked film. Private Bay. Amazon Breakfast Club. I've never seen that one. Where you can watch it. I just watch it. Oh, gosh. Pork Chop Express. You can rent on YouTube. Ah, lots of people you can say YouTube. YouTube. Like, see, I, I don't even think of YouTube for that. It's weird. No, I think YouTube is like, YouTube is for things like this. Total Steve. disaster, Simon isn't drunk. Steve Sokolov. Alex Sokolov. I just, I'm drinking and drinking and drinking tonight, but nothing seems to be happening. Honestly, I'm not joking. Stevie sent a picture over tonight. I think that's a gaming wall. It looks really good. Right. Oh my gosh. Joel Morris. Amazing. Do you guys know the ship in Barry? Joel Morris, yes. Yes. Mel watch Breakfast Club. I should. Yeah, just for content. Yeah, I don't see YouTube as anything else other than like like things like this. It's it's, it's yeah, like I don't see it for renting movies and stuff, but I should. I should. Do you guys know the ship in Barry? Yeah, yeah, John Morris. Yeah, totally know the ship. I Alan, love the ship in Barry. Alan Thanks sent for the me super this chat. early and I didn't get a notification, so I must apologise, Alan Mead, for set, for missing this one. He's got the Imperial Coconut Cream Marshmallow Porter at 9% from Time Level. The Stay Puffed. Whoa. One of my favourite beers. Simon, get on the Belgian Blonde. I will. I will. Right, Big Trouble in China is available for £3.50 rent or five. Oh. I'll buy. It's just worth buying. It's worth buying, isn't it? So, on Amazon. Um, Stevie, I'm wrong. They weren't gaming um, posters. They were Robocop and Terminator. 
Sorry. Oh gosh. It's Jennifer cold. Jason Lee. I never Jason don't know who that is. Oh, Adam Easton, it's amazing. Tango and Cash, one of the funniest films was like, yeah, Tango and Cash was brilliant. Really good. Drunk three Carlos triples and I'm kind of smashed. Wow. Three triples. Incredible. Um, shots. Weird. So weird science. Yeah, Martin, when they like scale her back, they're like, he's like, yeah, let's have these massive on her. And, and, and then, because it's on a computer, they design this woman. And then the other guys, oh, let's scale them back and scale them back. And then they press, like, enter. And then this woman appears in a cloud of smoke. And um, she's like, what do you want me to do? To you know, that type of thing. Um, Joel Morris, £5. Um, super chat. Thank you very much for the super chat, Joel Morris. There used to be a pub in Barry called the... Samara, Sam Samuel Romley, don't know if it's still around anymore. That's, yeah, that's the Weatherspoons that pub. That is the Weatherspoons pub now, yeah. Joel Morris, that is a Weatherspoons pub in Barry. It's still doing really, really well. One of the most popular. Currently closed. Yeah. Um, I don't think Weatherspoons have said in Wales they're Green not going to open Hooligans. until they can open as a whole. Yeah. So we've got till the 3rd of August till they're back. Um, it's two pounds super chat from Graham Mel. Watch a Breakfast Club movie. Oh, that looks good. Sounds okay, good. Okay, thank you. Who is drinking a pint of gin right now? I love watching movies. Turner I, and I Hooch. don't watch them enough. Somebody who says Stevie. Stevie's coming with a super chat. Look at that. Hasta la vista, baby. The stout is talking. <laughs> <laughs> brilliant, brilliant. Cool. We've still got 262 people tuned in tonight. That's the Terminator, isn't it? Hasta la vista, baby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he didn't say hi, he says hasta. Yeah, totally. Totally. Hasta Stevie la vista. Hasta. I don't know if I've watched all of them. Or them. Any of them. Chris Callanan. Seriously now, Simon. Why did you become a YouTuber? Um, why not? Why not? Why not? There was nobody really... Um, there was a few couple doing beer reviews back when I first started, but I wanted to do it consistently. I wanted to do it like every day, every other day. And work hard at it. And, and I just carried on going, you know? And, and I, think, I think YouTube needed beer. YouTube needed beer on it, didn't it? Of course. So, um, but back in the day, when I, YouTube was a very, very different, and I still view it, I still view YouTube as a very, very different place. Um, it was just internet, wasn't it? Do you still view YouTube as like, like just internet? Because a lot of the younger generation Travis see it as says, TV. I saw and, that one pop up. It's just an excuse to have a beer in it, Simon. Yeah, well, yeah, exactly. <laughs> I mean, yeah, let's have a beer, man. Let's have a beer. Exactly, exactly. But what is YouTube to you? Is YouTube this place where, I mean, people tune... Like, like people turn on their tellies these days and they, and they go straight to YouTube and watch stuff on YouTube. Like, my brain's not programmed in that way and probably nor is yours. I've got an important question here. Miles pro wrestler. Mel, I just stubbed my toe and it's bleeding out of the nail. Please can I have some help on what to do next because it hurts. Um, pro wrestler, is the nail upwards? Oh, over? God. Is it coming off? Because it all depends on what your nail is doing now. But most of the time with, your, with any toenail, it's leave it, let it do what it needs to do. Is it over yet? <laughs> Stevie Quinn. Have you stopped talking um, about I, I don't put like this sort of thing? Beer review into YouTube, your name comes up first. That must please you, Simon, from Big Kev. Right, is that <laughs> Archie, elevate your foot. <laughs> is it are we, are we are we done? Are we done? Are we done? No, we there's done? loads, there's loads. We done no more, no more. I can't do that sort of stuff. No way. He's asked me because people come in <clears> and show me this stuff. Oh, you got a super chat. Graham, beer and good times. Love you both. Graham. Cheers, thank you. Yeah, cool. 
Um, Simon, I get five in the YouTuber. Well, yeah, exactly. Well, wait, you see that. Daniel Bill, two pound. Get yourself a pint, Simon, from Legend Dude. Yeah, cheers. Cheers, Daniel Bill. Cheers, Daniel. Yep. Oh, Jenko, I took mine off for pliers. Oh, God. You don't have to take it off. It'll do its own thing. Just stem the bleeding. That's the most important thing. I can easily um, live without TV, just watch YouTube. Rob Patterson. Do you know what? And this is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> the younger generation will just watch YouTube. And I love that. I, I you know, I, I, I kind of like... I kind I'm not going like... to read Travis's comment. Got a change on the trunk. <laughs> I'm all right with things like that. But when Mel's asking if your toenail's sticking up in the air... Oh, I don't God. need to know. No, thanks. I don't want to hear that. Um, every day is a good day. Four point ninety nine. You're both great. Keep up the great work and enjoy your weekend. Thank you very much. Every day is a good day. Thank really you. cool. Cheers. Appreciate that. Uh... <laughs> no, Genevieve. no, good. Ge Genevieve, I'm not even going to read that one because I don't want to see it. Yeah, he is Jim McDonald. I'm not at work today or right big now, Jim. so I don't have to see it. Tell your friends. Tell your friends. Guess who's back? Come on, big back Jim. Again. Big Jim. Guess who's in. back? Big Jim. Guess who's back? Yeah. Guess who's back? Uh, right, thanks to whoever it was who mentioned Double Punk. Finally managed to order some now. Well done, Josh. Ordered Double Punk. Do you think the TV license should be scrapped? Um, I mean, For the BBC content I'm, I'm right happy. now, yes. I'm happy with Can't, just BBC YouTube. BBC have cut back on everything. They're not paying anything. They even got rid of the Met Office for our weather, which is like... A good proper weather people. Is that Loki out there? Mm. When do you put him out? He's a good boy. You should go and get him in. Ten minutes and then we'll um Oh, he shouldn't be out there for that long, is he? This will be bad. Uh Pro Rasta, do you think I ha need to go to the hospital, Mel? Wait there. Did you tell me how bad it was, first of all? I can't see any other co comments um pro rasa i don't know it all depends on how bad it's bleeding i'm gonna say i never paid the tv license in my life we we always why are we paying it then why are we paying? We always watch Netflix. Why are we paying the TV? Do you want to watch the F1 live on Sunday? Yeah, but it's not, wrong. you don't have to. I pay for Sky. Why am I paying a license? Because you're paying for the live content. Um, watching the fight, Simon and Mel. Oh, I'll switch off now if you want. I don't want to pay for it. Well, the TV license. No, the sky. I find it really kind of like... Oh, you've got a super chat. Yep. Yeah, we've... Uh, the barrack arms in Barry is a good pub. I think it's a new pub. The barrack. Where's that? The, the barrack. barrack. The barrack. Um, it, uh, oh, is it on it's height? It's on High um, Street. Yeah. It's not new. Oh, my knees. The bar it was like Cabanas, that type of place, was it? Was it Cabana's, Mel? No, it's the old one. Isn't it? The TV licence literally just funds the BBC. BBC, but it's not almost all in. For virtually nothing, I'm not sure I see Sky doing anything localised for 130 a year, a month maybe. I think it's ridiculously priced now. It costs me the same amount a month to pay for the TV license as it does to tax my car, pay my car tax on the road. I didn't realise it'd gone up that much. I've got to be honest. I didn't realise that the TV license was as much as it is. It, it is like... I don't think... If it's what? live... So if you're watching any live TV, it doesn't matter what channel it's on, you have to pay a TV license. But here's one to Stephen Burks. Here's one to Stephen Burks, and that is, um, okay, I've I done some painting today in the bedroom, and I put on Radio 2, 
And I don't... So I'm at the listen, stage now. You have to pay for a TV licence to list, listen to radio. Oh, ah, right. I'm under the understanding. I, I just had enough of this whole situation now. Um, it's been going on for the last five, four or five months, nearly six months. I've had enough. I don't want to hear about it. I don't want to read about it. There you go. Um, yeah, I never... I, okay, I, I just want to get this out. If it's live, it doesn't matter what channel. Not... doesn't matter what channel. YouTube if license is coming on the 8th of January. No way. Twelve pounds a month for YouTube. Well, yeah, because we what this, we did see this though in America, the the YouTube TV, What's that? TV channel that's gone up to like sixty nine dollars in the US, which works out as something like fifty quid. And yeah, but like, what about what? the UK? What's this license now? Oh, I'm just, I was going to say. <gasps> what? Yeah, I was going to say. Who's going to pay? Why? Why is anyone paying fifty pounds a month to watch YouTube? I didn't understand that. Can the Belgian blonde um, put adverts on the BBC? Yeah, yeah. Um. It's not just the BBC though. If you're watching live TV, it doesn't matter what channel it, channel it is on. Gary Lineker live, gets one point five million pound a year for match of the day. It's just this. Who watches yes, match um, of the day? I mean, it's just it's absurd, isn't it? It's just absurd. Oh God, it's cold tonight. Oh. That was the end of it's like September. Never out live TV. It is not worth paying. Um, it's not. Well, that's it. Pay. Yeah, we don't want to watch the Grand Prix. We 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 don't have to pay anymore. We don't want to watch live sports. You don't have to right. pay. Right. So, I was saying something just now, and I'm going to carry on and finish with it. And that is that I don't want to hear about what's going on. I don't like. Talking about it, I don't like the. I, I just want to block this whole thing out of my mind, and that's just my own personal thing. But thanks very much, Graham 101, for the one pound super chat. I put Radio 2 on today for 45 minutes, had a little listen. You know, some of the songs are pretty decent, but. They keep it on. It's like a. It's like public service. It's like it's like so you like need to, you know, protect them this and then I'm thinking you know, this and that and they're telling it's you, serves, you're right. you and it's like ah, oh, God, I've had a guts for already. Radio I might just say, two. okay, Google, turn off BBC Radio Two. Why would you watch it anyway? Listen Nothing's to that anyway. Right now. Good. Here we are. Good. Nothing's playing, and, and I just, I'm I just not being funny. completely had enough of them. After forty-five minutes, I turned it off. And BBC. Jeremy Vine on? is is a poisonous. Um, Stephen, yeah, yeah, yeah. Jeremy Vine has got way too much time on their hands. Do you know what? I don't have time to ring in to Jeremy Vine. I could do wonders in this world because I haven't got any time to do any of that. Who are these types of people ringing in? <laughs> Whatever. Yeah. Who listens to Radio 2 anyway? Not me. I, I, I listen to Jeremy Vine, but some of the stuff... Well, you just said you would listen to Radio 2 today and you wanted to turn it off. But do you know what they don't cover? Do you know what they don't cover? The people who are absolutely sick to death. Of listening to because they don't have any of that because those people don't listen and they only get the people who want to moan ringing in. You mad? But they listening. need to cover. They need to cover. They go on about like people's mental health and they go on about like. Why like, do you even turn it on? More for you. I've had enough. Yeah, the the you we had um. The BBC are the worst. They protected Jimmy yeah, Salvi. They did. Exactly. They knew. They knew. They knew. They knew. They knew. They knew about Jimmy Savile. They did nothing. They did absolutely nothing for years. Why did you say that? Years. I don't read it. I don't listen to it. I don't watch it. Why'd you put it on for? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Peter P. Yeah, I've had enough. I've just had enough. Absolutely. Just put I don't on want to some hear Apple, it. Apple Music, Choose Your Genre, Bob's Your Uncle. It's fine. BBC. I don't need to be told um, what I should feel. BBC Six Music. Uh, 
Yeah, no, BBC are god awful other than Six Music. Six Music, Six music is one of the only, only and that's BBC your, your channels brother, that I would listen to. Your brother yeah. listens to that. Yeah. yeah, it's like it's trying to. It, it's the only thing going right for BBC at the moment is Six Music because it's like. Did you it's act impass- actively turn on radio BBC Two? I do. Why? It's a force of habit. I don't know why. And that's the problem. It's a force of habit. You 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 think you think I need to read I need to read about something. I need to like Um I need to, you oh, know Um Hang on, hang on, hang on. Oh, I thought you were gonna yeah, whoa, 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 that one there. Careful, careful, yeah. careful. TMB Panther, well, don't get careful. started with the statues because you know they like their statues. We've read it, GMB Panther, we've read it. We've just got to be careful, okay? We don't want to get rid of that type of statue. Because they did some good at the same time, remember? John Morris, uh, never mind Kanye West will be president of America soon. Anyway, what do you think of Double Punk? Ugh, Double Punk's good. John Morris, John Morris, Double Punk is fantastic. Uh, Gary, Mel's yeah. Mint. Yeah, See, we got. It is, it is. We got to be. We have. We've got to be careful as well. We have got to be careful. Mel, what did you think of Double Punk? I really enjoyed it. Really enjoyed it. it because it doesn't taste boozy. No. There's no. It's high, high ABV. Dean Clark, Mel did a great review. Oh, of thank it. you, Dean. Yeah. I yeah. really appreciate that. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's high ABV, um, but it doesn't taste it whatsoever. It's not boozy at all. I like that. I did enjoy it. Hmm. Hmm. No, Johnson, thank you for reading my comment about the statue. This is me winking, by the way, just in case I scare you, because I'm really bad at winking. I tell you what, I check, <laughs> do, do you know what makes me, um, do you know what, what makes me laugh? What makes me laugh is um, that Britbox thing. How many people do you think subs- oh my God. <laughs> subscribe to that Britbox? No, they're already paying... Uh, a TV license, and then, and then they're like, about the BBC. "Oh, That's pay a the pay a subscription bit. as well." Oh my god, who, what, who else laughed their heads off when Britbox was released? Oh, my, and they were like, "Gonna, we're gonna compete with Netflix." Yeah, no, just but they want to make joke. Netflix more expensive, so that we don't pay for. That. That's just Tory government for you. Tory Ian Tory Alford, government. watch a video on YouTube. John Lydon and Peter Lord talking about. Savile, interesting. I. Oh, don't, we're Alfred. not going to go down the Savile route today. Piers Morgan, John um, Ryan. Right, okay, no, we'll, we'll look for that. No, I'm going to watch um, that. Really, would, really good one, Ian, Um, is. Oh my gosh, what's his name? What's his name? The guy who does all the controversial. Because he knew something wrong, right? What's his name? That guy with the floppy hair. Yeah. Oh my gosh, what's his name? I can see him. He's right in front of my face. Who? Oh, he goes, he's done the, um... Ooh, that was close. The po- Louis Saru, G-pad, you got it. Nice one, mate, thank you for that. Louis Saru with Jimmy Savile. Um, pum- Imperial Pump of the Jam. Yeah, if everyone's hated it, then... I doubt very much that I'm going to like it. Um, do you want to hear my opinion about it, Hoppy Juice Haze? Have you had it? No. But apparently everyone hated it. Do you want my opinion on it? You have to have it, though. You can't just give it. <laughs> Louis said he's enjoyed his company. The thing is, that's, that's, what, that, that's what they're like. You do. You yeah. do enjoy their company because they... They, they don't let you know who they really what are. What are you talking about now? Uh, Louis Saru and Jimmy Savile. Um, Gary, Mal, you on Tuesday with Sai? No, I, I can't do. Tuesdays. Hang on, hang on, hang on. But it's anarchy. I know. They really want. But I do one. have like big work on Wednesday. And then we got we, well. I would have to like not drink, and what's the good in that? Just a question. Oh yeah, Stephen Burks. Just a question. But what entertainment do you pay for? Well, we pay for Netflix. Mel's got an Amazon account, so she gets the Amazon for free. But we, we don't, don't pay watch. for Netflix. We share we my brother's account. 
Oh yeah, we we shared a brother's account. We paid for Netflix for we years. For Di- we pay for Disney by Disney. accident because I signed up for the free one. And Got rid of to that. It, it was rubbish. But I will cancel it because it's rubbish. Um. So we got Amazon, but we haven't watched anything on there for No, we haven't watched anything on Amazon for ages. We borrow Mal's Netflix, Brother's Netflix account. But we, we paid for Netflix for about eight, nine... It was only like six months ago we gave we gave that up. And that's only because... I cancelled it, yeah. Because there was nothing on. Her brother was watching our Netflix for a while, so we decided to swap. So he's buying it and, and, and we're watching his yeah. for a bit. So, um... Amazon we, is awesome. is that Joel? I would say Jay, the only JJ. the only live sport I will watch, or the only live TV I will watch, live live TV is the Grand Prix, and football, Cardiff City, and that's the only live. You were, there was loads of football on last weekend, and none of them were Cardiff. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think they've lost now. Anyway, haven't they? Anybody know the final result? I think Cardiff went down 2-0. 2-0. Yeah, never mind. They, they were never going to get a result of but football. But you always have football on. It doesn't matter what oh, yeah. team it's on. The only live TV I watch is tennis or hockey. That's by JJ. Boxing, Simon, yeah. Simon Paul I've got Boston. another tweet from Billy. He's got another Glen Affleck. It's go time. No, Everton. Yeah, I watch a bit of Everton. Neil Long, not Everton so much. Everton were on Amazon last night and not you so didn't much, watch man. it. They won live on um, Amazon. And Amazon do a good uh, broadcast because <clears throat> it's 4K, whatever you pay. Yeah. Or your pre- Prime membership, basically. It's amazing it. how, like, when I was a kid, the only television you could watch or the any anything on a screen you could watch was um, BBC, BBC Two, ITV, Channel 4 and Channel 5. And that was it when I was growing up. It's amazing to think... Oh, well, Neil Long, 10 minutes walk, so good and pack from here. So that's really cool. Uh, the swans are coming. Yeah, the swans are coming. Um, yeah, that, and that was it. So it's weird. You get almost tr- channel-minded. I do. I wake up every morning. I'm the world's worst. Mel will tell me every morning, why are you on the BBC's website? Why, why are you reading their stuff? It's almost like you become... You, you think it's tried and... T- Trusted and you know, but it, it's it's not really. No, no, no. Bias. Yeah. Oh God, it's cold tonight, everyone. Really cold. Mm. Really, really cold. Uh, G pad. We're creatures of ha- habit. Yeah. Jordan, I'm should... about to crack a vocation love and hate New England IPA. Any good? Oh, good stuff. Good stuff. Taylor, cancel the TV licence. Well, yeah, I don't know if we should. If you want to watch your F1 and your football live, you can't. Oh, it's just such a weird... Because that's what you're paying for. <sighs> it is. It's weird. But it's that's horrible. what you're paying for. It's horrible. Hmm. Oh, God, it's cold. Right, we've got less than two... Oh, we got just over two minutes left. Um, we haven't rung the bell. We haven't... Mo- right. Moto GP. Yeah, I never know what channel that I need to watch it on, but I'd like to watch that because I do enjoy racing. Right, we've got two and a half minutes left at the Stone Crow Virtual Pub. If you've got any more you want to give us, any more comments before Tuesday's live stream. Um, so... Don't forget, tomorrow night I'm on with the Craft Beer Channel. I, I am on with the Craft Beer Channel at um, 8 p.m. ish time. Um, if you go over there from this channel, please let them know over there that you've come from Real Ale Craft Beer. You're a follower of our channel. You've gone over there to watch. You've gone over there to watch. Um, I know. <laughs> I know, but I'm trying to talk. I'm trying to get my last minute out. So, um... I can't see that one. Yeah, let them know. Let the Craft Beer channel know that you've visited from my channel and you want to say hi and whatever. But I'll be there tomorrow night. 
Chill out, dickwad. It was just in the past. I like this car. Nice, baby. That finished really well. Nice one, Stevie. Gary Mel's a legend, thank you. Um, change that on Tuesday, please. And, oh yeah, and Tuesday night. The other one, the other one is Tuesday night. We are live with Anarchy Bruco. Anarchy Bruco, we will be live 7 o'clock with the guys from Anarchy Bruco. Get the beers, it's going to be good fun. It's going to be good fun. Um, <laughs> Stevie... No, Johnson, I hate the end. Okay, so we got 50 minutes, 50 seconds to go. It's been a really quick live stream, this one. It feels really quick. I've drank pint after pint after pint. I'm not slurring. Daniel says Nothing's what really happened tonight. In about 30 seconds' time. <laughs> um, I've not... It's strange. Normally, by now, I'm under the table. I'm under the floor. Um, I can't... I, don't, I just feel completely. Any centers, though, tonight. Yeah, I feel completely sober. Completely sober. I don't even feel drunk. So, um, Simon Hashtag Exotic. Simon Again. Exotic, yeah. Yeah. Simon, not blocked, blocked tonight. tonight. Who's, who's not blocked? I don't, we don't do any blocking here on the real ale craft here. Stevie, <laughs> two pounds. Super chats are coming in right at the end of the night. This is absolutely fantastic. From Alan. And Stevie, £2.29 from Alan, £2 from Stevie. Absolutely fantastic. That is an incredible, incredible show of support right at the end there. Amazing, amazing. Thank you all so very much. Simon's never drunk. Oh, I, I, I'm always dry. I don't know what's happened. Block me. Hi, Johnson, drunk. the new Mel. Yeah, the new Mel. Okay, so we're in. Um, last chance for the tops off. Now, good night. Good night, everybody. Thank you all so much for tuning in. I want to say thanks to Mel as well. Are you going to down that before you go? No. Come on, I'm Mel's going to down her pint. No, I'm not. You can down it. It's your channel. Come on, Mel. Down your they pint. They want to see you do it, not me. It's not mine. Mine's empty. Yeah, but it's your channel. Come on, Mel. Down your pint and then we can go. No, I can't even do it. I'm a, I'm a lady. It's, Mel's it's a lady. For your, it's, if you want it down, you need to do it yourself. All right, thank you very much, guys. See you all Tuesday night. Anarchy Bruco, Stone the Crow Virtual Pub. We're going to have so much fun. Stone the Crows! Stone the Crows! Good night, everyone.